I'm all right. How are you? Fine. Mommy. My daddy. Come here. <laughs> How are you, mom? Okay. Oh my God, mom, you look so beautiful. You never grow old. Ah. Are we? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, please don't wreck her bow. She will never accept that she's enjoying my. Dad, mom. what are you doing to her? She looks so beautiful. Thank you, sweetie. Is there some? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I keep quiet. Same here, my darling. Oh, let's go inside. Yes. Dad, how have you been? Cool. Everything okay? Oh. I'm, I'm happy. Been to... I've, I've been good. I've been good. I've been good. It's just. Uh... Now, open this door now. Open the door for me to come in and cook. Your dad will soon be back. Here. Yeah. Hmm. Patricia. Patricia. You need to have seen the heat ignited by that daughter in the whole land. The whole town is on fire. All thanks to the chief you gave birth to. Clement, what kind of talk is this? My daughter went to a provision shop and picked a pack of balloons. Balloons? You mean she went right inside a provision store and picked a pack of balloons? Hey! What does she need it for? They are for children, I didn't know. Come on. I was here. Zina ran in like a wild animal that cut loose of his chain. Straight in here, locked the door. I've been pleading with her ever since for hours now to please open the door. For me to cook, look at the beans that I was picking, it's still outside there. For me to go in and cook. Patricia, are you saying that Zina is inside the room? Who, Who has kept being nabbed by the mobs? Right down there, she ran in here, locked. She has refused. I've been pleading with her to please open the door. Hey! Zina! Open this door! Oh! My God. The kind she of. She has to come out shit. and tell me the name of the madness she's suffering from. Oh! The kind of shame this girl has brought on this family. Rubbed on my face, her mother. Ah! How will I ever erase it? Anytime I pass that or walk along the street, all they do is point at me. Look at her. Look at her. The mother of the beautiful thief. That's what I'm now known for. All thanks to Zina. Zina, come out though. Come and tell me the kind of spirit, the name of the madness you are suffering from. Pata, 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 pata. Hey! Who's Erica? Now, son, are you going to sit and pretend like you don't know who Erica is? Hmm? <laughs> I don't quiet. know who that is. I just, I'm just enjoying the food. I haven't had this in a while. The time. same girl I've been telling you about. Have you forgotten? Mom, I can't remember. However, just can I just eat my food? Thank you. Hmm. Madabuchi. <laughs> You need to see that girl, she's very pretty. From a well reputable family, believe me. You will love her. Oh, I still don't know her. So, Dad, there's something I want you to understand. Okay. It's a 
align with our culture and tradition. Without you doing the marriage ritual, there is no way you will be coronated as a crown prince. It's, it's as simple as that. Of course. You must perform the marriage ritual so as to, you know, benefit from the royalty. It's as simple as this. This Erica we're talking about is a third daughter of my good friend. You know him, Senator Alex Onyalo. She's well schooled and a TV presenter by Alex. Very beautiful girl. Dad. Mom. Hmm? Do you know it is inappropriate to ask me to get married against my wish? I've just told you everything about the tradition. It looks like you're forcing me to get married and I'm not ready to get married. I beg your pardon? You are not ready? No. See, son, you don't even have a choice. Believe me, it's a necessity. Mom, Dad, if I understood you correctly, did you mean I won't or I can't enjoy the benefits of royalty except I get married? The law is not ours. It's the tradition. Tradition. Wow. Just eat your food, honey. Let him be for now. Start thinking about it. Yeah, but I'm trying to wonder what, what are the benefits of royalty? Sina, open this door. Hey. Open this door. Sina, open the door now. Your daddy is back. Eh? Yeah. Open this door. Sina, open the door now. Your daddy is back. Eh? You are sorry. You are sorry. The last time you cried your eyes out, you promised never to touch anything that doesn't belong to you. What is happening now? Kai, Zina, what is your problem? Mom, sorry, I did not do it on purpose. I did not steal it intentionally. Oh, in the work of the devil. Mm -hmm. What you keep forgetting? The last time you were not for taking one, one leg of self as Zina. I asked you, what did you need it for? One, not even two. You said the same thing. Why have you chosen to rob much on the face of this family, Zina? Oh, and then getting one. What did I do? Yeah. Hey, what is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know. Oh, no. You don't know. Ah, now tell me, what do you want this thing for? You just went into a provision store and picked up this family. Did you make it? What do you want it for, Mom? No, Mama, nothing. Oh, nothing. You know that I want to see you. It's just that sometimes I just have urge to steal something. Especially something I'm not in need of. Something I don't want to use. I don't know. Mm. Oh! My enemies are active again. I've said it a million times before now. Your daughter is possessed of a banjo spirit. Mm. Mm. I don't understand. A banjo spirit. Uh -huh. That was exactly what uh, Neoku said. Yes. Yeah. I'm thinking of something. What about? Yes, tell me. How are you sure Neoku did not initiate her into their witchcraft coven? Why did you just stop that? How can you accuse the old woman? I'm suspecting her. I don't even know what to think again, honestly. Uh, what I suggested that we're going to take her to the pastor. 
E. Pastor, you said. Yes. Hey, have you forgotten what happened the last time I took her to Pastor? No, Prophet Elijah for deliverance. My prophet, please, you need to help me. I'm in trouble. Because my daughter, please, I don't know who has sworn that my daughter will have to die like a foul. Because... Is there an attack on her life or something? Ah, attack? Demonic, I presume. She always has this surge that passes through her. Just moving her, it's like a force. Always picking things she does not even need. She does not. Because, oh, Jesus. Oh, look at her, look at her. Hmm? Wounds, injuries, sustained. How? Oh, please help me, my prophet. Several times she has escaped being lynched by an angry mom. Yeah? I do not give her only child. She's an only child. Yeah? All because she cannot keep her hands. Eh? She can't talk in her hands. Always looking for what to keep. Things she does not even have need for. Pico. Uh, Mr. Patricia. Yeah? This is a spiritual attack. Oh, yeah. oh. Ah, Sakara. Ah, Ah, what's a spirit? Ah, 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 she was initiated when she was in primary school. By one of our classmates. Uh -huh. You're very right. Eh? Because she started stealing at a very tender age. Ah. Eh? Mr. Patricia, she needs a serious deliverance. Oh, God help me. Jesus. To be able to, to, to separate her mm -hmm. from those, from the married kingdom where she was initiated. Oh. Ah. ah! See her being tied to a stick under the water. Oh, how about Sarah? Please. My prophet, lose that. You have to lose that. Lose that. Immediately after the heart, she feels remorseful and ashamed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And she would shed tears all day. Cries uncontrollable. Yet she can't stop. Because. Oh, because of this demon in this body, residing in this body, you tormenting the life of daughter of Zion. As I speak to you, hear me and hear me clearly. I said, leave this body in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. This body is the body of Christ. Amen. The body is the body of the, is the temple of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Say, let the body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You demon, yeah, it's not your goal. And I say that you let this body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I cast every demon in your body. You marry spirit. You disturbance spirit. You steal in spirit. I say, go! Amen. Go! In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I cast every demon. You marry spirit. You marry spirit in this body. In if I be a man of God, I said, Go! Let this boy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I know who you are. Yes, I know who you are. You are in need of the devil. The devil that is destroying the body. The devil comes to steal, to destroy, and to kill. But Jesus Christ comes to give life. Come to give the sin and to the life. You want? You are free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare, if I be a man of God, if I be a man of God, I said you should be set free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If I be a man of God, I decree get out of this body. I decree get out of this body. If I was called on a very godly hour, I I pray that you do this for you. I say, go away, go away, repent, 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 repent,
Was that in there? Mama, I don't understand what I said. What was what? Why the cry? You were crying all through the deliverance session. Mama, say I was just being emotional. I just want God to show me mercy and heal me. I'm tired of this thing. Eh? I always feel ashamed whenever I do stuff like this. Does it then mean that you did not see or feel anything during the prayers? I did not feel anything, no. Neither did I see anything. Ah, all I know that God will do something. Hmm? He is the impossibility specialist. He will do something. Don't worry, my dear. Let's get going. All right. Does it mean that the tie just develop wings and fly out, fly from the office? Does that mean that when I was conducting deliverance on that girl, she she stole my tie? God, that, that girl has a big problem. A pretty girl. I pray God delivers her. Hello, Sister Patricia. I kept on the table. My prophet, how do you mean? I kept the tie on my table when I was praying for her. I could not find the tie. You mean you can't find your tie from the office there? Exactly. Please, she's not with anything else. Please, Please, you have to ask her if she's with my tie. She should return it immediately. Ah. Why would she steal from a man of God? Okay, my prophet, prophet, I will do just that. Tell me, Zina, did you pick this? Where is the tie? Where is the prophet's tie? Did you pick the tie from the office? Hey! Hey! Hey, shoot! You think you actually took this? No, stop, 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 stop. No, please don't, just turn around, we're going back to you, where you picked up. That's why, why? Anna, I'm going to give you this, you made it so I'm going to say it. It's sorry, I'm sorry. All the time you're sorry, that was why you were restricted from the university, and this again. Why?
You mean all this will happen in Prophet Elijah's office and I just tell you? How do I go about telling people about all these shameful predicaments of my daughter? Patricia, I am not people. She's my daughter. So now that you know all this, what do we do? She's possessed of a banjo spirit. Oh. I'm not sure this has anything to do with being possessed or being initiated, honestly. Remember, she started stealing as a child. Yes, she did. Even up till now, she still picks things, meat from my pots of soup. And you hear all this from me. You hid it from me. How? Patricia, how do I go about telling all these tales of woe of my only child? Just think about it. Do I continue? I'm asking you around. And all suggestions are pointing to one direction. Which is? This is she is possessed of a bad spirit. Okay. The two. What do you think? They might be right. There's one prophet that they suggest us to where she will take her to. She will be disconnected from the water spirit. Talk to me, your mother. Are you an Obanje? Man. Mama, what is that? Amen. Mm. All these people that come to you when you are alone, are they the ones pushing or directing you to do all these negative things to do? Picking things that don't belong to you. Mama, Mama, nobody is telling me anything. Nobody is doing, I'm not seeing anybody. Nobody is telling me anything. I've told you before, I just have the urge to steal something that is not my own, something I don't use, something that is not beneficial to me. Hi. Hmm. So what do we do? Well, I'm finally back. Good to be back home. No place like home. I enjoyed the food. Come to think of it, I haven't had food that good in a while. Oh, that reminds me. I need to call Oscar. He needs to know I'm back into the country. Oh, he's going to be very surprised. Hello? Hey, Oscar. What's up? It's me, Prince. Prince Madabuchi, yes. What's up, bro? Oh, yes, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back home. Yeah, I'm in the palace right now. That's, that's an amazing idea. Just come. I'm here. Okay. Okay, see you. See you when you come. All right. Take care. Bye, my guy. All right. Yeah. I 
said, what are you doing? I ask again, what are you doing with the meat that is uncooked? It's not done. So what are you doing with it? I, I, I don't know. You don't know? You don't know? But you're picking pieces of meat. Yeah, I don't know. What do you want to do with it? Mama, something. Something pushed me. Something asked me to come and collect the meat in the pot. Something asked you. Yes. Something pushed you. Yes. Now I want to know that thing. What is that thing? <laughs> Tell me the name. I want to see that thing. What does it look like? Oh, I don't know. Hello. You don't know? Azina. Meat. Mm -hmm. of food. Mm -hmm. I'm cooking food for the entire family, including you. Mm -hmm. So, what's the essence of this? The meat is not yet done. Eh? Mm -hmm. What is it? Mama, please, Mama, please believe me. Believe me when I say I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Oh, no. I believe you. It's just that I want to know. I want to know what is that thing that is always pushing you to do negative things. It never pushes you to do the right thing. It's always one negative thing or the other. What will you do with that? Mama, I don't see anything. I don't know what nobody is telling me anything. It's just a thought that comes into my head and it comes with, with the force and it pushes me to take something. Mama, I'm going to I think your father is right. Whatever is wrong with you is spiritual and we will handle it. That way. We're going to see a prophetess. Ah, uh, no, no prophetess. No prophetess. No, don't worry, don't worry. Just go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know. Prince, you are a very handsome man. You are educated, well learned. As a matter of fact, you have traveled the world. I mean, you have seen virtually all the continents in the world. I don't think there's any maiden in this kingdom that wouldn't want to make you your groom, or rather, your bride. <laughs> Oscar, different strokes for different folks. How do you mean? <sighs> Never mind. It's a story for another day. Eve, what's up? It's been a long time. How have you been? Yeah, I'm well. It's really been a long time. Oh, yes. What's happening? Nothing much. Good to have you back. Great. Thank you. <laughs> I thought both of you were married. Um, what's happening? Yeah, maybe you should ask your friend. Well, we've been working on some things and a few things here and there. Is it money? Hey. Is money on. holding you back? Oh, why would you say that? But you know, you and I know that I can as well pay her bride price. Money has never been the problem. Oscar, I'm willing to give you a lot of money if money is the problem. Oh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, um, Prince, I just said that money is not a problem. I mean, I can always afford her bride price. If money is the problem, I would definitely tell you. Oscar. I feel for her. Are you comfortable with the delay? What's happening? My friends, I'm not in on this. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with your friend. It's been over seven years, right? Well, I just said to you that we've been working on something. Babe, I mean, haven't we been working on something together? Oscar. If is an amazing person. Eve is a great woman. 
she's educated she's intelligent she's well behaved why are you holding back okay i want to believe you're holding back because you do not have a competition why would you say this i mean why are you sounding this way but babe why don't you go ahead and tell him that we've been working on one or two things i mean we've been trying to put ourselves together you know have we? oscar you don't know what you have until you lose it and trust me i'm going to be very upset with you if another man takes this woman away nobody's taking her away from me no one but babe, I mean, you and I know that we've been working on things of late. So, mm. why don't you tell him that he's wrong? I mean, okay, you know what? I feel like there's something going on between both of you that you're not telling me. In the meantime, I'll just go get you some food and uh, what do you want? Don't worry, I'll, I'll ask the cook to come. Why can't you just hide us in the presence of the prince? I mean, even if there's anything going on in between us in the secret place, why would you bring it out here? Are you serious? Yes! Really? He's not supposed to know anything about us. Not to that extent. And now he's thinking money is the problem, whereas you know money is not the problem. What's going on? Ever since we came in, you've been acting up world. I tried to see you downstairs, but you were working out of work. What? What is it? What is wrong with you? Why are you acting this way? What's the matter? What's the matter? You're asking me what the matter is. Is this, is this all I mean to you? Sex? Oh, why would you have to sound that way? I mean, what is wrong for crying out loud with me making out with my women? Come on, baby, you don't have to go this way. Come on. Come on, Shara, baby. Oscar. When exactly do you plan to come and see my parents? Like, when do you plan to come and pay my bride price? Babe. What's, what's the matter with you? I thought we've talked about this before now. I thought all of this has been discussed. We have? Yes, we did. We've talked about this. Honey, I can tell you for sure that we did. Oscar, I want you to spell it out to me. Do we have a future together or you are all about wasting my time? Why would you say this? Oh, I see. Is it our visit to the palace that is bringing all of this up? No, go ahead and tell me. I, I want to know. Oscar, I have been with you for God knows how long. And people are beginning to talk. Well, the good thing about what he said right now is that the world are beginning to talk. So that means for the world to begin to talk, that means the world are quite familiar with our communion. Babe, can you please calm down? I mean, just calm down. Don't tell me to calm down! Don't tell, I, 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 because I can't wrap my head around why you're not talking marriage yet. What is it we've been together for this long? And you're not saying anything about settling down? I told you everything I needed to tell you. I ask you to give me some time that there is no way I can go this life without you. All I ask for is just for you to be patient with me. Give me some time. Oscar, how much time do you need? How much time do you need? How much time do I intend to wait? You want to know how much time you intend to wait? You're asking me, you want me to tell you exactly how much time you need to wait? Is it not worth our time? I love you and I've said this over and I'll keep saying it. I want us. I want you for kids. Oh, don't you understand that? I love you. Just give me some time, please. Oscar. I'm giving you three months to come and see my parents. Three months to come and pay my dowry. Else, I'll remove this ring from my hand and I'll throw it away and walk away. I'm not joking. Okay. 
where do you think you're going? I'm leaving. Oh, really? Yes. Which is okay. Which is your majesty? Oh, my. Yes, um, call my son. Tell him breakfast is served. Okay, my hand. So, what else did he say? Yeah, well, of course, um, he is going to give us the blueprint. But before then, I will even prefer you look at it and. Okay. See. Who's it? Me, young man, if I ask me. Me, Edson. Greetings, my friends. How can I help you? His Majesty sent me to fetch you. Why? What's wrong? Breakfast is served, my prince. Okay, I'll be with them shortly. Okay, my prince. Wait. You called me. See me when you're less busy. That's my friends. I'm sure my son's still in bed. What kept you so long, Oma? The prince was still in bed when I got to his room. So did he. Is he awake now? Yes, Your Majesty. Um, my knock woke him up. He'll soon be here. I see. All right. You can go back to the kitchen. Get the plates. Uh, I don't think I'll be needing more of this. Uh, I don't like too much sugar. I'm, I'm glad you're saying it yourself. Doctors with so much prescription advice. Oh. Son. Hi, Dad. Yeah, you over here? Yes, I am. Good. Hi, Mom. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Great. That's what I want. Okay. Something. No, the other one is from my tree. Oh. This one? Yeah. Right. So that's what I want. Thank you. Uh, so, I would like you to be in the office today. Well, Dad, I only just got back. Can I get some rest first? Come on. And I do mind. It's a devil's collateral. I want you to keep your body and mind busy at work. That's what I want. All right, Your Majesty, I think our son is right. Let him just rest. Oh. What we need from him now is getting a good wife what? for us. That's by the way, I need a bromage free bread. Can I <clears throat> have one pass it on? <clears throat> Tom, a please help. Bromage free bread. No, that's not the one I want. This oh, one. okay, the other one. Right. It's close to you now. Jana, 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 Jana,
Come in. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Sit down. I'm sorry, my prince. I'd rather stand. Come and sit close to me. I want to have a talk with you. I'm sorry, my prince. I can't sit. Come here. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, listen, wait, wait. Listen, just come close. I know you're afraid, but it's okay. Nothing is going to happen, okay? Just come here. Come here. Come close. Come, come, come here. Sit down. Sit down. Okay? I'm not going to hurt you. You look like a little girl. You you are a little girl because I mean you're a virgin, right? Oh okay. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Oh very well then. I can be your boyfriend. I'll take care of you. I am not interested. I'm sorry, my prince. I have work to do. Besides, if the queen comes in and see me here, she knows what she's going to do to me. Excuse me. Did you see how the prophetess was praying? Hmm? She brought St. Michael's yes. oil, she brought back to Sender oil, mm -hmm. olive oil, yes. all the oils you can think of. Then she mixed it <laughs> and 
Let's see how we did it. And the spirit eh, had no option that too. They yes. picked race. Also, I'm very, very happy that the spirit of stealing has returned back to where it came from. Ah! Thank God. Eh? Thank God. Congratulations. Hey! Your daughter is at it again. What, what do you mean? That's the prophetess. Hey! Zena! What is wrong with you? <laughs> so, you brought me out here to push you on my knee? Stealing? Hey. Prophetess Bell? Hey! hey. Now, now, now tell I'm me. Warm. What do you want this for? All the time, you're shedding clothes for your tears. You're crying. You're sorry. You're sorry. But you never change. What's the problem? I don't know what came over me. I'm but what sorry. Really came over, shut up. What came over you? Hmm. So why do you keep doing this to me? Why? I was here enjoying the euphoria of joy and happiness. Thinking everything is over. Now... Oh, wow. Sina. Hi. Hey. Oh, wow. Sina. Anna, we be on it. for. Hey! My husband, we have no option. We have to return the bell. This bell, back to the prophetess now. Good. You and her will go and return the bell, not me. How As for me, I have somewhere I'm going. How do you mean? I am not going back there with you and her. I am going somewhere. Very important. Um, take this money for transport. Take this money, money for transport. You, see you people at home. Have you seen what you have got? Yeah? Have you seen it? What is it? I'm sorry. Your mates are in the university. You were rusticated. Yeah? What is it? What's your problem? Yeah? Look at me. Moving on the road. Look at that. Mama beautiful. Feet. How does this sound in your ear? Are you happy now? Look at your father. Look at the shame all the time. Hey! 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 And they try to deliver him from stealing. Still, they steal. The gay man carry my spiritual bell. Can you imagine? Can you? Ah! No problem. So you don't steal from me. No problem. That spirit of stealing where they inside you now small. But they tell me, in fact, inside you, the spirit of blindness, madness, epilepsy, death, dumb. Oh, you know why I am a strong prophetess. That one way you do not small. I will deal with you. Me will deal with you. I will make sure you know say that this place that you steal is a very wrong place for you to steal. You can't steal from my holy ground. My holy bell! My holy bell! That I climb mountains. I go mountain, I fast, I fast, I go to a mountain, I climb and go and collect that bell. To come and steal it. That bell was here. But there now is nowhere to be found. Don't keep her. That spirit of stealing will come over your body. I go double lamp. In fact, I need to double spirit of devil inside you. You go there inside you so that you go there steal everywhere you go. And they go to beat you. They go to torment you. Hey! That's what I Did you say you are sorry? Your daughter had the mind to steal from the holy ground. You know even fear. You know fear. That's why I'm begging you now. Please forgive. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. See this girl where don't steal from this place. You know fear at all. You come steal. This bell, I know the collector. My bad, same by you. I will not collect this bell unless you give me the sum of fifty thousand naira. Eh? Yes. What? Fifty. <laughs> Please, my prophetess. Sampa justice with mercy. Here is the bell now. I'm not doing any justice with mercy. There is no mercy for you. You know how I fasted and prayed to fortify this bell. This is holy bell. Can she carry it and go? Sorry. Without the fifty thousand naira accompanying this bell to this altar, I'm not collecting it. Hey. We can't afford such huge amounts of money. Please. But you can afford stealing. You can afford still, you cannot afford 50,000 naira, Abby. No problem. By the time I strike ah, with the spirit of blindness, eh? death, eh? no, madness, Please. even epilepsy. Hey! You go, no. Hi, Lord. Yes. Hey. 
please, please, please forgive her. Here's the bell now. Please take the bell. We returned it. Please. I'm very angry now. I can even start the strike now. No, 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 don't start. I'm very angry. Don't start. Oh. Now, drop that. Thing. Drop it there. Okay. Yes. Before I change my mind, drop it now. Yes. Now go. Stand up from there and go home. Yes. Come, come, come up for you. Thief. You know? Thief. Look at I climbed mountain. I fasted. I prayed. Just to fortify this bell. You come and carry it with your sinful hand. So my mother approaches me with seven different pictures of seven different girls. And she says to me that I have to pick one as my wife. Else, I won't be crowned the prince of this kingdom. Okay, so she says this is Frida. Yeah, Frida is a pilot. Yeah, she said Frida is a pilot. Okay, so. Uh, she looks really good. Oh, she looks good. And she's a pilot. Okay, I'll just um, check her out and see what she has to offer. Oh. Um, So my mother says this is Dr. Christie. Ooh, Dr. Christie. She really looks beautiful. So Dr. Christie. My mother says she's a medical doctor and uh, she studied at Oxford University. Hmm. She looks really brilliant. Beautiful, elegant, smart. She has a good fashion sense. So I like the little girl, Oma, yeah, I like her, she looks very innocent, she appears really, really innocent, hmm. but surprisingly my mother says she is very educated and I can see that she graduated from one of those northern universities. Hmm. But why is she working in the palace? She must have been employed out of pity. Okay, so... Cassandra. Mm. She doesn't look bad at all. I think I should pay more attention to her. Now what are you doing with my son? 
Nothing, your highness. What in God's name are you doing with the prince? I am doing nothing with the prince, your now highness. I'm going to ask you this for the very last time. So do not give me that crap again. What in the world are you doing with my son? I am doing nothing with the prince, your highness. You have nothing to do with my son, yet he's asking silly questions about you. Your highness, what kind of question is he asking? Can you swear that you have nothing to do with the prince of this kingdom? I swear by my late father's grave, I have nothing to do with the prince. Now you better listen. I have arranged seven beautiful class maidens from this kingdom for my son to pick one from them. You are nowhere close. Therefore, whatever feelings you nothing in your heart for my son should be bothered. Have I made myself clear? Yes, Your Highness. Now once the food is ready, you serve it and colors. Good afternoon, dear. How are you? All right, I called to find out if you're available. Um, not a problem. Just that my son returned, and uh, I would like you to come, you know, meet with him so both of you can get to know each other better. Oh, you'll be coming tomorrow. It's all right, no problems. I'll be waiting. Bye, Cassandra. Cassandra is not available. Hmm. Why don't I try Erika? Yeah, Erika. Hello, Erika. How are you? Tell me, how is work? So why didn't you return as promised? You just prepared your sumptuous meal for my son. He loved it. You can't believe it. He's asking after you already. He's in love. Are you for real? You're on your way to the palace. All right, my darling, I'm waiting for you. I can't wait to see you. My son will be happy. <laughs> All right, bye. This is so unfair. My mother went too far, surprising me with seven different women in seven different pictures. This is going to get me to trouble. I mean, if she had shown me like three or let's say four, it would have been so easy for me to pick one. But right now, I am totally confused. Come in. Hello. Who are you, please? <laughs> Did her highness not tell you about my visit? Um, you're, you're Cassandra, right? The nurse midwife. Cassandra? Yes, Cassandra. <laughs> well, I am Erica. Oh, Erica, Erica. Well, Oh, Erica, the TV presenter. Oh, nice. Please have a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. Sit down. Mm. So, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, good. Mm. I was told you enjoyed my ohasu. Oh, yes. I 
I had a taste of it. It, it tasted really nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I hope you are as sweet as your ohasu. Mm -hmm. I am sweeter. Really? You're sweeter. Yeah. <laughs> You're cute. Thank you for your kind words. And your your gorgeous. Thank you. So, I was told you are a TV presenter. Yes, I am. That's good for you. <laughs> so, would you. you like to show me how you present? Sure. So, are you ready to present? To sure. How many TV stations have you presented? Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Yes, Your Majesty. What's going on? Where is my wife? My son? They are in the room. Your please remind my wife that I've been waiting at the dining. And please fetch my son too. Yes, Your Majesty. Hey, what's wrong with you? Don't you know how to knock? My prince, I knocked. What do you mean you knocked? I didn't hear you knock. Besides, I didn't say come in. I'm sorry, my prince. The king sent me to call you. Lunch is served. Now get out. Said you should leave. Can you imagine? Your Majesty. The Queen will soon be here. But what about my son? Your Majesty, the Prince is with a visitor. Guest. Well, whatever. Uh, this is my fault. I can't keep continue waiting. Um, I don't need the water, I just need the. Uh, You will not believe what I'm about to tell you. What? Our son Prince and Erica slept together. Ew. Even as we speak, they are still in the room, in the bed, doing what I do not know. Chotem, why are you disturbed by the turn out of events? What were you thinking when you brought seven pictures of maidens for him? He's just simply flourking with them, that's all. Flourking with them? Under noses? What's this fuse all about? 
My goodness, I can't believe this. I'm highly disappointed. Erica, that I thought was a decent maiden of this land. I never knew that she would see a man at first sight. Then she would open her legs and sleep with a man. It's a shame. Come on, sweetheart. Don't allow these youngsters, you know, prick your blood pressure. Please. To think of this. Why would my son do this disgusting thing before his subject? It's shameful. Very shameful. Erica. You slept in this palace. I thought you left there yesterday. No, Your Highness. I slept here. So you are this desperate. I, I don't get Your Highness. How could you open your legs so wide for the prince? How? Your Highness, the prince and I will soon be getting married. There is nothing wrong sleeping with my soon-to-be husband. You call it soon-to-be? Not yet, your husband. For your information, I've got seven of you for him to pick one from. What? Of course you heard me. So you opening your legs for him immediately doesn't make you the chosen one. I expect you to be wiser. Your Highness, that wasn't the original plan. It's not adding up. You never told me there are six other girls in the picture. Well, you heard me now. But you recommended me for the prince. Exactly the same way I recommended the other sis. This wasn't what you told my parents. Well, you better deal with it. Ah, excuse me. I have a guest now. I, I guess it's one of the selected maidens for the prince. Hmm. Your guess is as good as mine. Cassandra, sweetheart. Come, my darling. Good as always. Thank you, darling, and you too. Thank you. How are you? <laughs> Very well, sweetheart. All right, let me take you inside so you can see the crown prince, your future husband. Thank you. Come on, let's yeah. go. Um, you know what? Let me see if I can help you get some no, things. No, no, Let no, me no, help you bring out some please, things. Don't worry. Babe. Babe. I've been calling your phone since yesterday. You weren't picking up. What's happening? Because I do not want to pick. Something in me is telling me that you're still mad at me. Is it over what happened the other day? How best can I make you understand that you're the only human on this earth that I do I, I, not I, want to lose? Oscar, please. It's still very early in the morning and I can guess you're going to work. Please just leave. Why can't you see that I can't live this life without you, babe? I mean, losing you is like losing the air that I breathe. Can't you see that yourself? Please, I'm sorry about whatever. Please, just give me some time to fix some things up. <laughs> the air that you breathe. Really. Um, can I see you during lunch time? Hey. 
there is something he doesn't want me to know about. I am very certain. But something is hiding. Your Majesty, honestly, these girls are a bunch of disappointments. What is it? They're already making out. What? Is Prince Madabuchi stupid? Must he sleep with everything in skirt? I am highly disappointed. I can't believe our only son, the crown prince of this kingdom, has become a Casanova. Blame you in all of this. How? What did I do? I mean, I never saw it coming. Our only son is practically in a body count and mission with all the smeddens. You will not bring another woman for him. Well, I guess it's late. How do you mean? Of course. Even if we decide not to bring Medans again for him, he's got their contacts. He will still call them. I can't believe Cassandra is also cheap. I'm shocked. Of course, you know, I saw Mother Butchie is a ladies' man. I think we need to come in now. How do you mean? Of course, we need to get him a good Medan. For him to marry. Oh, that will and not work. And end all this madness. It will not work, my love. How do you mean? He's old enough to know what is best for himself. Your Majesty, you talk as if I care. I mean, I don't even need his consent before doing it. Oh, there you go again. Prince. You need to stop greeting me, you know that. What have I done? You don't know what you have done? No, my prince. I want a glass of orange juice. I'll be in my room. Make it quick. Go to the mall. I need to get stuffs for my two electrics. Mama, I'm talking to you. Anyways, I'll see you later. Your father and I have decided that you will not leave this house until we have unraveled the problem with you. So you're not going anywhere. Hey. Mama say I don't understand this thing. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, but you don't let me go out now. You need to go and get stuff on my toiletries now. What's this? Zina, what's the problem with you? Do you want to kill yourself? Don't you know you are all we have got? What will this shame stop? In short, your father warned me to make sure you don't leave this house. So you're not going anywhere. Mama, what are you saying now? Hey, why are you locking me inside as if I'm a child? I'm not a child now. I need to go out and get stuff. Open the door. I said and I repeat myself, you are not going anywhere. This shame is enough. It's enough. 
Mama, you are locking me in my own father's house. In my own father's house, you are locking me. It's not fair, it's not nice. Is it my dear? Do you know what they now call your mother? Look at her. The mother of the pretty thief. The beautiful thief. That's not what I envisaged for you in life. You're not a thief! And this must stop. Sit down. I know you're going to that mall to steal. Nothing else. So, Mama, this is house arrest, Abby. No, this is what we call it. It's house arrest. It's house arrest that you're locking me. What kind of thing is this one now? Hi. Mama, this is not nice, bro. This is not nice. It's not nice. brings you here? Uh, Divya, mm -hmm. we are here because of my daughter. I want to find out what is wrong with her. Just hold on. Let me discuss with them that are with me here. Then I'll come back to you. AK one means you go, Uriya one means you go. They've come to make inquiry on what is wrong with their daughter. Alright. Okay. Consultation. Okay. Go on, eh? Five thousand. Okay. 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 do 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 what is it? That is the problem. Let me know. So that I can tell them. If they fought me, I will fought you. Mm-hmm. No good man, no. Where are you? I'm not Is that all? I'm not Okay. Ichi, you are saying that what is happening to your daughter is not man made. Neither is it spiritual. Mm -hmm. Then what is it? On a jelly, guinea cobble. What is it? Just tell me. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not going to go high, no, no. What he's saying is that he has nothing more to say. Hey, we be an uncle, be a zoku, we a kuge zoku. We don't collect money for people and tell them lies, and we don't talk what is not true. Yeah. No. Yes, because all the other places we've been to, mm -hmm. they said she is suffering from water spirits. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
and it's other places. Not Obiejioku. This is Obiejioku. Ike, do you have any other question? No. Why haven't you started working at the family company? Uh, I've been very busy. Busy with what? Are there other businesses that you've ventured into that I'm not aware of? Yeah, I've just been busy with other stuff. I've just been very busy, yeah. Okay. Um, Oscar. Yeah. I wanted to tell you something. So my mother showed me seven girls in a picture. And she wants me to pick a wife. What? Seven girls? Yeah, sounds weird, right? <laughs> Indeed ridiculous, bro. I know. <laughs> but I'm very disappointed. Why? They all lose. They all lose. No self-respect. No dignity. They see me. And they go pants down. Wait, 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 wait. What but I, I, I had my way. I, we had a thing. Ah, yeah. I knew it. So why don't you just come out straight and tell me that you've been sleeping and dumping the women instead of trying to beat around the bush? Oscar, I never said I dumped anyone. Because I know you very well. That's you your language, it. bro. That's your language, all right? We had, we had a thing and that's it. But I, I was just disappointed because I, I didn't expect them to, you know, give in that... You know that quick so why they gave in you were busy using and dumping them anyway um i know you very well oh, it's okay let me just quickly pee excuse me ah oh, i'm so pressed <sighs> yeah you know the rest of mine yeah let me use all the, the way one. down yeah, to your right that's true. okay let me use that one good oh don't forget you have seven women at your disposal give me a break oscar <laughs> i know you very well i know you I'm back. I'll always tell you the truth. Here and there. Okay, sorry. Oh. My praise, my praise. My one and only praise. Next king of the kingdom. You've been sleeping and dunking them. Can you give me a break, bro? <laughs> 
That's impossible, bro. I need to tell you the truth. Ah, goodness. That reminds me, Oscar. What about Eve? How's she? Man, it's quite unfortunate, man. What's up with her? My my mom doesn't want me to marry Eve. Why is that? She doesn't want me to marry from her place. Do you know that my mom went as far as threatening to take her life should I marry Eve? What? It's that serious. Oscar, did your mom suddenly forget everything Eve did for her? This is really sad. But my mom is obsolete. My mom doesn't seem to be moved at all. I have pleaded with my mother. I have begged my mother. I have actually done everything a child should do to get their mom to concede into something. All prove abortive. Oscar, I'm aware Eve is a very good girl. Very good girl. She was well raised. Yeah. Well behaved. Your mother should have a rethink. I don't know. I don't know what she wants. Your mother should have a rethink. Hi, Eve. Hello. Prince Maduabuchi speaking. Oh, my prince. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Um, I had wanted to call you. Oh, nice. That's nice of you. That means our minds work together. <laughs> I know, right? Um, I wanted to speak to you about something. Can you come over to the palace? You know, I'm very busy. Like, I'm a very busy person. I don't know. I'm not sure. You're busy. Okay. All right. I'll just... I'll just make it brief, okay? Listen, I... I'm not comfortable with what's happening between... Yourself and... Oscar. I feel like things should get better. I don't know, my prince. I don't know. I mean, I've been with Oscar for you know how many years. I've been with him through thick and thin. I've been there in his darkest days. I don't know what he wants from me again. Yeah, I know that. And he's not talking about marriage. Listen, this is not my concern, actually. But then... I feel like you guys are my friends and I should get involved because I like you as a person and I want the best for you. Did he tell you anything about his mother? No. What about her? Okay, I... I'm not in the right position to tell you anything concerning that. I want you to confront him and ask him questions. He needs to tell you what his mother thinks about you. My prince, is there something you know that you're not telling me? Listen, Eve, I know both of you love each other. And I'm aware you love him more. I want you to give him a second chance. And if he doesn't sit up and does the need for I want you to make other decisions. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Uh, 
Taking this call. Never. Oscar has a whole lot of explanation to do. He has to tell me what his mother is doing to me that I do not know. He has a whole lot of explanation to do. Stop calling my phone. You are at the shop. I've been calling your phone. You are not taking calls. What's going on? Please, I'm not caught out for all this, okay? I have work to get back. What has come over you? You and your mother has come over me. I don't get you. So, after Everything I did for you and your mother. This is how you choose to pay me back, huh? Your mother now thinks I am not good enough for you. Prince said this to you? Oh God. Prince, 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 why now? Prince, why? Oh God. Okay, um, here's the thing. It's not my making. As a matter of fact, my mother wanted me to marry someone else. She wants me to marry from my place. So why did you not tell me before now? Because I didn't want to. I don't even know what to say, but I don't want to break your heart. I am already heartbroken. I, 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 feel, I feel betrayed. I feel used. I'm sorry, please. Come on, please. Okay. I'm sorry. You're sorry. Sorry. What are you sorry for? I, I don't even know. The thing is, my mother is even threatening to take her life if I if I if I marry you. <laughs> wow! And you know I can't afford to lose her. Wow! Really? Really? Your mother wants to die. Your ungrateful mother wants to die. So she prefers you marry from your place. Is this okay? That's fine. No, it's okay. If there's something you don't know about this whole thing. You see, my mother is all I've got. We lost our father when we were still little. It's been our mother all the years. She single-handedly raised I and my siblings. How best can I explain this whole thing to you that I can't afford to lose that woman? She's all I've got. I, I don't want my mother to die all in the name that I caused it. 
Absolutely. Get out. What? Eve. Eve. Did you just ask me to leave your shop? You heard me. Leave. Just, just give me some time and let's... Get out! 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 Marry your mother! It's my daughter, that's Zina's voice. Wait, she, she's calling me for help. Zina! Zina! Where is it? Zina! Where is my daughter? Where is she calling me from? Zina! 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 Oh, somebody help me, please! Somebody help me! Help. Hey, so please, so please, please, don't come and help me, please! Wow! Finally, you have been trapped. Hey! No! So please, I beg you, come and don't tell me! My aunt are dying, please come and help me! Wow! Please, I beg you, I beg you, please, just come and come and come and don't tell me, please, I beg you! You deserve to die here so that people of this town will rest for you. Hey, no, 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 please, I swear I'm innocent. I'm innocent of everything. Please come and outside, I beg you. I cannot. I cannot. Please. You deserve to die here. Please, please, I beg you. So please don't go. Don't go, don't go. Please, I beg you. Don't go. Hey. hey. Somebody help me. Somebody help me! Mama! 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 Mama, please! Please come! Come on! Somebody help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Mama, where are you? Mama, where are you? Mama! Mama, please! Mama, please don't tie me! Don't tie me! Hey! Who tied you up? Who have sworn that my daughter will end up like this? What is it? Mama, please! Don't tie me! Don't tie me! Don't tie me! Oh! Oh, Mama! Mama, don't tie me, please! Z Z Zina! Zina! Patricia! 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 Wake up! Oh. Hi. Oh my god, it's a dream. Hi. A dream? Hi. What happened? Zina! What about her? I saw her daughter tied up under a tree and she was virtually reaching out to me and begging me to come and untie her. The more I tried, the tighter I tried. I tried but I could not. She kept on crying and beckoning saying, Mommy, Mommy. Oh, oh my husband, her daughter is in trouble. She needs help. We have done virtually everything we can. What else are we going to do? Oh, God, please. All I ask for is for her to be like her mates. Okay. Let her be like her mates. Stop stressing yourself. Get out! I don't want to lose it's your okay. little child. It's okay. She's only no, good. Sit up. Let's go to the bedroom. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Hi. Sit up. Sit up. Sit now. Sit It's okay. It's okay. Hey, stop calling me. I'm trying to make a call. What? He's busy in my call? <laughs> no. Hey, listen, my business with you is over. Don't call me again. Shh. Like, seriously? 
I think I have to go to the palace. I have to go there right now to know why he's busy in my call. Because I, I don't understand. After enjoying the woman in me, he think he can use me and dump me. No. I have to go there right away. Hi. Um, this is Freda. Hello. Am I speaking with uh, Frida? It's nice to have you here. Are you really going to end the call on the prince? Yes, my name is Prince Madabuchi. Yes, I was told. I was told you're a pilot and you you fly everywhere. That's good news. So how do I see you? When are you coming over this side? Oh, that's sad. In that case, I'll come over to see you then. The more reason I should see you. Listen, Lagos is just 45 minutes from here, alright? I can jump on the next available flight and uh, I'll see you. How about that? Alright then, see you later. Erica, what's the fuss about? Why are you so mad? Why are you so angry? You tried to call me. I ended the call because I was trying to make another call. You tried to call again. I ended your call. I mean, that should tell you that I'm busy. If you're sensible. What busy with what exactly? Busy sampling the several maidens your mother got for you. Is that it? I beg your pardon. Where's that coming from? What do you mean by that? If you think you can use and dump me, then you have another thing coming. So I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. So what's... What do you mean, use and dump you? Is that the situation here? I don't think so. Alright, let me paint a clearer picture so you can understand. You met a good-looking guy. You obviously fell in love with him. You threw yourself at him. You had sex with him. And um, that's our story. Nobody's bullying anyone like you claim. It's very simple. You're not the one for me. You cannot be the one for me. So you need to stop stalking me. Like seriously? Yeah. I am stalking you. You are stalking me. Listen to me. You cannot be my wife. If I see my wife, I'll definitely know her. A cheap, loose, dirty girl like you cannot be my wife. I'm sorry. How about Cassandra? You slept with her also, right? Cassandra? Um, yes, we had sex, but... You're all the same. Loose and dirty. She can't be my wife. All of you are the same. Yeah. I promise you, you're going to regret this. Regret what exactly? Wait, you don't understand, right? I'll paint a better picture for you to understand. Did I force you? No. Did I rape you? No. Did we have sex? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy it? Oh, yes. Did we have consensual sex? Of course, yes. Are we adults? Hell yeah. So what are you talking about? 
your mother carefully got girls for her Casanova son to be sleeping with. Oh. But I'm going to promise you one thing. The royal family will not get away with this. Excuse me. Well, everyone is entitled to their opinions. But, did I force you? No. Did I rape you? No. Did we have sex? Yes, we did. Are we adults? Of course we are. Did you enjoy it? Hell yeah, you did. And um, did I enjoy it? Mm. So I'll call this somebody to give me an analytical side of what he has done. Hi, Beth. I like that. Hi, Mom. <sighs> Hi, Dad. So. Can you put some smiles on your faces? Why, why is everyone frowning? And... Uh, okay, newsflash. I'll be going to Lagos today. I'll be back uh, in a few days. Yeah, it's urgent. So what's happening in Lagos then? I'm going to see Frida. Which Frida are you talking about? The pilot, mom. Oh my goodness, son. Can you drop this? You just want to fly to Lagos to be with Frida. And I would not allow that. Mom, why are you protecting her? Besides, she is the one I want. Oh, well, I, I have just realized that amongst uh, the seven maidens, she's the only one I haven't seen. Oh my goodness. Son, please, can you drop this? All right? Now, what are you up to? All you want to do is to fly to Lego State to sleep with Frida. Believe me, I will not allow it like I said earlier. Point of correction, Mom. I heard she's a pilot and I would like to know how to fly a plane. That's not true. You better stop it. All you do is testing all these girls. Stop it. You want to include Frida to your list. Come on now. Come on. Snap out of it. Mom, that's, that's the wrong information you have. I, Dad, I'm trying to get married, right? Please, Mr. Son, we, we know the web you're spinning. Sleeping with every girl that you see does not make you a man. As royalty, you have a name to protect. You must understand these formalities. But Dad, I never said I was going to sleep with Frida. I said I was going to see her so she can teach me how to fly a plane. I remember, son, I'm your father. I know you too well. Okay, then. I'm looking for a wife, and I shall find one. Not like this. I'm a thief, very
Is this that I hear? That the prince is sleeping carelessly with all the maidens of, of this kingdom. Where did you get that information from? That is the rumor. They are paddling all over the kingdom. Everybody is aware of it. Oh. Let me give you a piece of advice. As they will know of this great kingdom and the nesting command, to me. Warmongers and rumor peddlers are not supposed to be your friend. Where is Prince Emadabuchi? He traveled to Lagos this morning. I hope there's no trouble. He told his mother and I that he's traveling to Lagos for some special circumstances. In that case, uh, there's no trouble. Uh, your Majesty, as the Prime Minister of this kingdom, I am mandated by the cabinet to tell the prince to take a maiden, present as a wife before the cabinet. It's getting too late. Oh, no, the royal family will make sure that Mother Buchi will be up to task. Why we are saying all this is, is we don't know reason why he shouldn't have done this before now. Trust it's getting me. too late. Oh, no. He will do the needful. That will be okay. That will be okay. Uh, you are the, <laughs> the king. So we, we, we would never uh, say no to what he said. Uh, since you have said this, Ozi is the one who is the one who is the So there's no two ways about it. He will do the needful. Uh, Your Majesty. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm back for my leave. Oh, it's okay. Send me word to your family once again. Thank you, Your Majesty. She do this time around. Oh, okay. We, we need to take her inside and clean her up because she's oh. bleeding. Oh. Let's, let's I, take her inside. Hey! 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 Your Majesty. Shalom. What did I know will come to the palace to do? I guess it came because of her son, Prince. Apparently, yes. 
Have you seen it? Have you seen what I was trying to avoid? A situation where the cabinet will come and ask our son to present his chosen bride. Can you imagine? I practically went out of my way to get seven good maidens for our son to choose from. At least choose good one from the seven maidens. But no, he was busy severing the girls. Now he has gone to Lagos to do exactly the same thing with Frida. He better come back with something positive, otherwise I'll force a maiden on him. Exactly. Let him not think that I'm a weak father. I'm highly disappointed, believe me. Imagine decrying my effort to become a West of getting good seven maidens for him to choose one. He couldn't. Instead of my son to sit and do the needful. No, he's busy doing what I don't know. The only thing that we save him is coming home with Frida. Otherwise, he will see a pinch black of me that he had never seen. This is not good. Oh. I my Where actually did you say you picked up from what happened? Patricia, you asked too many questions at the same time. My husband, I just want to know what happened to my daughter. Zena, what have you done this time? I, 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 I was on my way to the airport because I have a flight to catch. And uh, I saw a lot of people gathered. The angry mobs trying to lynch her. I stopped the car and tried to help. They said she stole something. <laughs> Stealing me again. Stealing me again. I beg your pardon? Do you know she steals? Yes, my prince. My prince. We've done all we can within our powers. No solution. <laughs> but is it a habit or... What, what exactly have you done? I've been to native doctors. I've been to some spirituals, you know, churches. And uh, we've not found any solution to what she's doing. She steals what she has no need for. It's the issue. Oh. I totally understand. One of the villagers said she stole a single shoe, not even a pair. Yes, a, a single shoe and she ran away. Yes. And they chased after her. That's true. That's true, my prince. She did. We didn't know what else to do. <laughs> so I, I wanted to take her straight to the hospital, but she said she needed to get home first. She insisted I, I bring her home. Thank you. Thank you, my prince. Maybe I need to call my doctor. Let's see ways we can help her. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. My world has fallen apart. My life has gone upside down. I mean, I... My prince, did you say she got beaten up by some angry mob? Doctor, that's a story for another day. Let's just leave here first. Um, Thank sir, you very much, my prince. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you. Please very kindly much. take care of her. Okay. I'll keep in touch. Thank Thank you. Make sure she takes the painkiller like I earlier prescribed, okay? Two guys. Sure. Thank you, Mom. Thank I'll you keep in touch. Please take care of her. Alright, thank you. Alright, bye bye. Oh. If not for him, we would have lost her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. I pray my son ends up with Frida. So all this can end. That quote is coming from a son's car. You see? That can be true. He told us he's flying to Lagos. Did it change his mind? Confused. What? 
strong, so. What happened? That's supposed to be a legless, sir. Something terrible almost happened. What happened? Dad, yes. you need to educate your people. The entire village. You need to talk to them. This is not 1946 for crying out loud. Mom, they almost lynched a young girl to death. They said she stole something. They almost killed her. Wait a minute. I hope this has nothing to do with that thief, Zina. I beg your pardon, you know her? Of course. Who doesn't know that thief in this kingdom? She has stolen several times, and she has been locked in this palace several times. What? Stealing is her routine, son. Gosh. This is unbelievable. But that's not enough reason to, to make them attempt murder. They almost killed the girl. Father, it is jungle justice. It is wrong. It is against the law. Father, you need to educate your people. You need to tell them that's why we have security agencies. When someone steals, they are taken to the police station. You don't have any right to kill anybody. You're not God. Wait a minute, sweetheart. Don't tell me you cancelled your three because of that thief. Mom, I just saved a human life. That's more important than going to Lagos. Your Majesty, yes, I think we should banish that thief and her family. Now you will have time for me. Yeah? Well, let me ask you. What exactly did Eve do to you? What did she do that you wanted her out of this family so badly? What has she done to you that you want me to leave her to marry this Onyenye in question? How can a mother give birth and name the child Eve? No, no, no. The same Eve in the Bible that ate the forbidden fruit that got the whole world into mess. Eh? You know about now, one Eve. Please, oh. Mama. The name Eve is just a name. She is not the same Eve in the Bible. The name Eve that she answers is the name her parents christened on her. How can they choose such a name for their, for their, for their daughter? Eh? Okay, fine. Enough of this whole front and back. Where is the Onye in question? Let me see the Onye. What are you fear? Oh, you are talking. Because I promised your father, even on his dying bed, never to allow you marry from outside, other than this village. Uh -huh. I'm not saying anything. Mama, mm -hmm. when I see the Onye in question. Uh -huh. Onye oh, Chi! Mama! Bia, 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 come. Come and greet your husband. Oh. Mama. Good afternoon, my husband. <coughs> is, this, is this who you want me to leave me for? Is this the only in question? She agreed that you. You should just ask her greeting first. But Mama, is this the woman that you're compelling me to leave only for? Is this the woman that is making you to push me to leave my Eve? But now, Mama, I thought you were my mother. Why would you do this to me? Yeah. What is all this? What 
did I do to you now, eh, Oscar? Hold me. Easy body. Why are you sounding so irrational? Hmm? Is it because of my dressing? You have nothing to worry about. Another. Once we go back to the city, I'll wear those hot and sexy wears mm. that you will like. Mama. Mama. My prince, after listening to your story, I believe Zina is suffering from what is called kleptomania. Kleptomania? Sorry, doctor, what's that? Zina is suffering from kleptomania. That's what makes her a kleptomaniac. Yeah, so my question still remains, what's kleptomania? Kleptomania is a mental illness that has to do with stealing. What? My prince, the victim of this mental disorder often steals items he or she has no use of. Doctor, I concur because I had met her parents and they complained she stole someone's shoes. In fact, one of the shoes. One. <laughs> My prince, Zina is trapped. What do you mean she's trapped? My prince, yeah. Whenever the urge comes on her, it makes her to do negative things. It comes like a propelling force. And when it comes, she can't resist it. It makes her to do so many things that she doesn't even want to do. This is a serious matter. Doctor. Doctor, I clearly understand this is a terrible situation. However, I also want to believe that there has to be a cure to this problem. What do you think the cure is? My prince, that was why I said Zina is trapped earlier on. There is no known cure to kleptomania. Doctor, you said it is a mental disorder. So that automatically means it's medical. It's a medical situation. So why are you saying there's no known cure? So how do we solve this problem? My friends, the cure to kleptomania, it's personal. I would have to speak with Zina when she gets back on her feet. You like her, right? Mama, I ask you again. Are you sure this girl has been in this village all her life? What do you mean? Uh, Mama, you don't know what I'm saying. Mama, this girl that I saw now, her eyes are not in the right place. Yeah. Her eyes are here. Anya Dianante. Hey. Mama, I'm asking you again. Are you sure? Yes. See, you see all those things she's doing. Eh? It's what she learned from Nigerian movie that she used to watch. Yes. She's a good girl for you. Korombo, Mama. You know what is good for you. Hmm. Hmm? You know what I'm saying, you know. I know what I am saying. The whole money can't follow. I know what I'm saying. If you do not marry this girl, I will kill myself for you. I prefer you. I will kill myself. Hey, is it good to know? Mm -hmm. Here is your food. 
I specially made this meal for you. <laughs> and I know you like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know what? I will wash my hand and feed you, okay? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, let me do it myself. No, my husband, I don't want you to stress yourself. I let don't like feed people feeding me. Mama, you, you didn't tell her I don't like people feeding hey. me when I'm eating. Oh, no, I, let you go mm -hmm. I also don't like. Don't touch me. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. Please, don't touch me. No, 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 no. I will leave this food and go. I don't want people touching me when I'm eating. Don't touch me. You like the name. After eating this meal. Oh, I say I don't like people touching me when I'm eating. Don't touch me. <laughs> they were not new. Eat. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. This is like a... Dima, after eating All this right, meal, you will thank me in a special way. Hmm. Enjoy your meal, Obito. Hope you like it. <laughs> Much better, Doctor. All right. You don't need to worry yourself. In no distant time, you'll be okay. All right? When you get back on your feet, there are so many things we need to talk about. But for now, I have to get going. I have so many patients to attend to. Thank you. Thank you very much, Doctor. Uh, my prince. I'll see you just for some Yeah, I'll be outside. Zina. I'm so sorry. I understand how you feel. I understand your pain. But trust me, everything is going to be fine. The doctor confirmed that you're going to be back on your feet in no time. So just relax and uh, I'll come back and check up on you, okay? Thank you very much, my friends. You're welcome. Mom, if you need anything, don't hesitate to tell me, please. Thank you very much. You're welcome, my All right, I'll see you some other time. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, my kids. Sorry, I took some time in there. Sorry, it's fine. Um, I really want her back on her feet. You have to do everything in your power to ensure that happens. Of course, yes, absolutely, she will. I think I like her. I don't understand. Get into the car, I'll tell you more.
why the mood swing? Can you please talk to me? What is it? What's, what's going on between us? What sort of question is that? Okay, well, it's a question. So, you want me to tell you exactly what is going on between us? We care about each other. And that is going on between us. We love each other. And that's exactly what is going on between us. Are you okay? Oscar, I'm not getting any younger. Why are you letting this... Stop you. Why are you getting worked up by this? I mean, you wanna just relax yourself. Come on. Don't tell me to relax. Don't tell me to relax, Oscar. I am losing my mind. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. You don't have to. We've been in this relationship for a very long time. And people are beginning to talk. They're taking me for a fool. I've been in this relationship for years and no, no, nothing is coming out of it. Babe. Listen to me. You're paying attention to these busybody people and what they're saying? Whereas you're meant to be focused on us. Stay focused. That's the watch word and not what the people are saying. Oscar, this ring has been on my finger for roughly four years. Why are we not getting married? I know it's my ring. I know we are engaged. But just give me some time. I'm trying to sort out some How things. How much time do you need? Babe, please don't let this get to you. I just need some time. I've got some things to fix out for the both of us. You know, you keep saying you've got some things to fix out. And you're not letting me in on it. That's because I'm a man. I mean, it's not everything I can tell you. But I just want you to know that there's no way I can leave you in this lifetime. I can't leave you. Just get me. I'm dealing with some things. This. Babe. Oscar. Hey. Yes, sir. Is there something you think I should know? Is there anything you're not telling me? There is nothing. Trust me. Baby, you're crying. Is what's the issue? What is it? Nothing. I'm fine. Trust me. I love you. You sure? Yes, I cross my heart. I, I can't go this journey of life without you. It's not what you're thinking. There's no one else elsewhere. It's just you. drama queen I saw out there. Is that the kind of woman you want me to marry? I can't do it. 
I've said this before, and I will say it again. Onye is doing what she learned from Nigeria movies. Mama, uh, Besides, uh, she, she, she's trying to be romantic here. Uh, 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 eh? uh, 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 Mama, <laughs> can you leave Nigeria movie out of this? This has got nothing to do with Nigeria movie. Mama, that's one I saw out there. Don't tear eye. Hmm. Mama, I know them. Which Mama, one of our tear eye? Mama, only forever. Her eyes are torn all to the back. Mama, she's pretending to be what she's not. Can't you see? She does not behave like one who has never left this village. I know you very well. Her mother is my vice in CWO. What me feel Mama, me? her mother could be the vice of CWO, but that does not guarantee that her child is well raised. It's just a status. It's a societal status that she attained. That does not mean that their kids are well raised. Mama, listen to me. That girl looks like one who has spent her whole life in the city, only to run back to the village to pretend to be a good woman in search to find a husband. Mama, I know what I am saying. Mama, I have seen these people. I know them. It is not true. Mama, mm -hmm. Mama, I am saying this now. You will not take it. The devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Mama Pico, just allow me to marry Eve so that I can put an end to all this brouhaha of marriage. Pico. Chukwajo. Not while I'm still alive. Emmanuel. Mama, I do not want to gamble with my emotions. Mama, I have been with Eve for seven good years. We complement each other. Mama Pico, no. Wrap on them Gano Eve. No. Please. You will not marry that Eve or whatever her name is. Oh. Eh? How can you tell me that you want to marry Eve? The same Eve that made Adam to eat for forbidden fruit in the Bible. Mama, eh? Mama, you're mistaken. Hi! Mama, Eve is just a coincidence of name. Mama, I have said this to you countless times. The fact that she answers Eve does not mean she will act the same way the Eve in the Bible behaved. It's just a coincidence of name. Mama, that girl is a good girl, can't you see? Pico, permit me to marry that girl. Mama, just imagine. You know it will be so hard to find a woman that is going to play out the kind of sacrifice Eve has played into this family. She has done everything possible just to prove her infringing love for me. Please, why would I abandon a woman I have spent seven years with? A woman who has made such sacrifice for me and the family. Mama, that would be so wicked of me, Pico. I'm begging you. Oscar, she will learn to live with it. The long relationship must not end the marriage. Yes. Eh? Pico, I don't want you to marry her. Huh. I promised her forever. I promised her that I would be with her till the end of time. You promised her. And what did I tell you about that promise? I said to you that you will never marry that girl. You will never marry a girl from that part of the world. Or if you Mama, but she's an Igbo girl like us. She's from Igbo. The only difference here is that she's from a different state from ours. Mama Pico. <laughs> they will not marry her. Women from that side doesn't stay under their husband. They will always want to be the head. That side. No, 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 no. You can't marry her. Mama, Mama. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Eve has done to you, but I want you to consider my happiness and let me marry that girl, please. No! Over my dead body. Not why am I alive. Oscar, Emmanuel. You won't marry that girl. Mama, how's Zina? She's the best person, my friends. It's getting better, Thank right? You. I'm happy to hear that. Can I see her? Why not? Hey, friends. Hi. You're welcome. How do you feel? I feel better. I can clearly see that. You're responding to treatment, aren't you? 
Yes, I am. That's good. Thank you. Happy. You're very beautiful. <laughs> Are you going to flatter me now, my friends? No, come on. I'm not flattering you. You are actually the most beautiful girl I have seen in a while. The most beautiful girl with the ugliest character, you mean? That's not true. It's not your fault. No one has the right to judge you. Okay? I don't know, I, I just feel as though my hands are crossed. No, you're totally wrong, Zina. You're not cursed. Speaking about your situation, I had... I had a conversation with the doctor. We spoke extensively about you. Yes. Okay, which is... The doctor confirmed you are kleptomaniac. Kleptomaniac? So, kleptomania is a mental disorder that is responsible for stealing. That means the DPR was right. A saying a problem is neither spiritual nor human. No, it's not spiritual. It's, it's a medical problem. The good thing is, he sounded very positive about her situation. He said, we can put you under medical watch for a while and trust me, you're going to be fine. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, my prince. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't feel like leaving You're welcome. You have nothing to worry about. and Legos as promised. Why? And I just noticed that you leave the palace frequently to God knows where. I'm asking you, where? Mom, I was rushing to tell you that I found the right woman for me. Yes. Um, the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. She's well-behaved, very cultured, and... Uh, you're going to like her. Besides, I have not met Frida. She doesn't have any right to, you know, complain. We've not met before. And whose fault is that? So, I don't want you to continue misbehaving all in the name of looking for a wife. That is not the way we were raised. And you are not raised that way either. If you and Frida have decided to walk down the aisle, then there shouldn't be that reason of her complaining of not keeping in touch. She must understand some basic things in engagement. I'm telling you. Father, I'm in touch with someone else, not Frida. Excuse me. Yes. Who is this person you're talking about? That which clan is she from? Her name is Zina. Are you sick in the head? No, Father. So, among all the beautiful maidens presented to you earlier. God. You chose a thief, a common thief. She's not a thief, Dad. Life is about love. Love is the true meaning of life, and I'm in love with her. Will you keep quiet? What is the matter with you? Nothing, Father. I don't want you to say a word. No more words. No comment. That she's a good girl. Oh, please! Can you keep quiet? Is he all right? Yes, Father. Yes. 
boy. Yes, man, I'm fine. Surely. You see, she just has a medical condition that, you know, with time, she's going to get better. So I feel like we should, you know, not judge her or try to discriminate or try to put her away because, you know, it could be anybody. It could I be shot me. it. Mom? You're surely suffering from me so many. Sir, need some rest. Father. I said shut up! Don't say what! But I love her, that's the thing. I just love her. And... Can you close your mouth? Sorry, Mom. God. That she's a good woman. Yeah. Why are you crazy? What's going on? What happened? The queen was here. The queen? For what? She came to warn Zina to stay clear of the prince. Stay clear of the prince? That the prince will not marry her for anything. But the prince has not made any positive intention as to marry Zina. Zina, has he ever proposed to you? Papa, nothing of such. He's not mentioned anything like that. You need to see the slap she gave to her daughter, right and left. Slap? The queen? The prince does not have much time left. I don't know why he's still wasting too much time to present his chosen men into the cabinet. They are waiting for him. Well, um, <clears throat> we're still looking out for a good medic for him. You know, it's very important. Oh, that's true. Well, last time I was there, he told me that he traveled to Lagos for his, some special uh, circumstances. Okay, so we see. Abuji, come down and tell me the name of the demon that has possessed his life. Your Majesty, is it that he has lost it or he's about to lose it? Because as far as I'm concerned, he will never, never will he marry that thief. Mother Abuji, where are you? Mother Abuji! Your Majesty. Why the rich? Huh? What is our queen uh, talking about? The son wants to marry Zina. Yes! No, that cannot be true. Why, why are we even talk about that? Why we have uh, beautiful maidens around here? I, why is he mingling with it? With a common thief? Perhaps your presence will make a difference, you know. Huh? Your Majesty. The cabinets will not accept his choice. They cannot accept that. You know, we have a lot of beautiful maidens in, in this kingdom from reputable families, eh? from pure backgrounds. So no, go in there and talk to my son. Eh? How can I?
I've not heard from Oscar since the last time he came here. Should I call him? No. I'll just check his timeline and see what's going on with him. Igwe issued an order sacking me from local government work. No, no. Tell me it's not true. Why? Why would he do a thing like that? I think it has to do with uh, the prince's insistence on making Zena his chosen bride. No, 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 no. Why? What haven't we done? We've pleaded with the prince to please leave our daughter alone, but he bluffed. What do we do? I want to go and see the local government chairman myself. You think that's the right thing to do? Let me tell him my own side of the story. Mm. If you ask me, I think the Igwe told the chairman to sack you. But why? Why? Igwe. Why could he do something like that? It's not, it's not fair. My salary from the local government is what we feed on. How are, you, are we going to feed now? How? All I know is that my God will not allow my family to be put to shame. God, you see it and know it all things. My family will not be put to shame. God is God. Don't worry. Let's go. You still have your girlfriend portrait in your house. She's not just my girlfriend. Who is she then? She was my fiance. You are crying. You want to understand? If it was my life, she was the reason I I didn't go to jail. Prison? How? Oh. 
I'll tell you the story. I was living with a friend by the name Tony a few years ago at my old apartment. One fateful day, I left the house to find my daily bread. Only for me to return. And I met Tony on the ground in his pool of blood. What? Tony was stabbed. He was dead when I came. Upon investigation on what could have led to that incident, my neighbors said that Tony came home with a prostitute and they had issue. I guess it has to do with money. The prostitute stabbed him with the scissors and left Tony to die. Did they find the prostitute that stabbed him? <laughs> she escaped. They did it. After she stabbed Tony to death, she made her way out. I later invited the police to the scene. But you know how the police works, yeah? They accused me of committing murder because the incident happened in my own apartment. I was going to jail for what I sh <laughs> A crime I did commit. I was in a waiting trial for eight eight months. I was waiting to be sentenced to prison. But if she Yes, she <laughs> If sold her father's only piece of land just to make sure that I don't go to prison. She sold the man's only piece of land that led to the death of that man. She couldn't behold the fact that she was going to watch me being sent to prison for a crime I did not commit. My love, you still haven't given me an answer. What answer? An answer to what we talked about. My prince, see, I am tired of all of this. Like, I'm tired. Of all the girls in this town, why have you chosen that one person that has been tagged a thief? Why? Sina, it has to be you or no other person. You don't understand it. You don't get what I'm saying, my prince. I am a thief. Like, I steal. No, you're not a thief. You just have a mental disorder. All right? Fine. Because of me, your father has made life miserable for me and my family. What are you talking about? 
What do you mean? My father was fired from work today. In all thanks to Igwe Sylvester, your father. What? He took away that one job that puts food on our table. My father did what? My priest, honestly, I am grateful for everything you've done for my family and I. Okay? Thank you so much. But at this point, I just need you to stay away from me. I am not interested in marrying you. I don't want to marry you. Please. Zina. I'm sorry about your father. I'll do something about it. If practically took care of Mama, the eight months that was behind bars. Her father died because of this. Up until now, her family, her mom, her siblings haven't forgiven her because they said she caused the death of your father. Why do you have to leave a girl that sacrificed so much for you? Mama. Oh, Mama. Mama was the reason I did not marry Eve. She rejected her after everything. Mama said she would take her life if I ever go ahead in marrying Eve. And I had no option because I don't want to lose her. You see? It is true that we lost our father very early in life. We lost our father in a motor accident and she has been there all through. I'm truly sorry. What are you sorry about, I? I thought you you wanted to get married. I'm only putting myself in her shoes. She must have really gone through a lot. <sighs> you see, one thing is certain. The truth will always prevail. I never knew my mother was such an ingrate. I never knew that Mama was such an ungrateful human. You should have reconciled with her and her family before getting married. I did. I tried a few times. I went to her family with her to see how I can reconcile this. But the extent the family would never even let her cross the gate. They don't want to set their eyes on her. Simply because they believe that she killed their father. I really feel for her. Does she know you're married now? I... I don't think she knows because it will break her heart. Do you really love this girl? What I feel for Eve is beyond love. What I feel for Eve is beyond the comprehension of man. Eve was my life. 
does it make any difference right now? After all, um, I'm with another, so it doesn't make any difference. But when I go into my shelf and reviewed my solitude moments, one thing kept pondering within the realities of time. Would she ever find a place in her heart to forgive me? Father, what have you done? And I will do more if you don't put an end to this madness! Father, I'm very disappointed at you. Issuing an order that Mr. Clement Onoha should be sacked or fired from his workplace cannot stop me from getting married to his daughter. Really? Yes. I love her and that's the woman I want to be with. That can only happen in your dreams, son. Now the earlier you call free on the phone to get acquainted with her, the better for you. Mom, I'm not interested in Frida. And what is that supposed to mean? I'm in love with Zina. The same Frida you wanted to fly to Lagos to be wet. Hmm? Mom, I'm in love with Zina and she's the only person I want to be with. She's the best woman for me. Oh no! We are your parents and we know what's best for you. No, you do not know what's best for me, Mom. Zina or no other woman. I'm sorry. Can you hear yourself, son? This boy is under a spell. You see that, Mr. Clement? I will teach him and his family a lesson in this kingdom, and I mean every word. Our son has gone bananas. My Majesty, I had to rush down immediately. I got your message that you wanted to see. Of course, I sent for you. Um, is there any problem? Are you aware that? Prince Madabuchuku is about to make the greatest mistake of his life. The kind of mistake that would jeopardize what this royal family stands for. Well, um, Her Majesty, I have to be honest with you. I do not have an idea of what you're saying. I mean, what mistake is he about to make? Now swear to me, you don't know what is happening. I mean, if I know what is happening, why would I be asking? Honestly, I don't know. Aren't you aware that your friend is about to marry a thief? A thief? No, I mean, no, now. Why would the private prince descend so low and get to a thief? It doesn't make sense. I'm not aware of this. And who is the thief you're talking about? Now, how many thieves do we have in this kingdom? Uh, uh, I think there's only one popular thief well known in the kingdom. Uh, oh my god. Zina? Of course. Oh my god. I mean, why would the prince want to marry a thief? Knowing fully well that there are so many beautiful maidens that he could make his choice from. Prince Madabuchi has even threatened the king and I, saying we must not marry another maiden for him except for that thief. Can you imagine? This is quite serious than I thought. This is... This whole thing doesn't make sense. Of all the women in this kingdom, how come a thief? Well, I think at this point I need to talk to him myself because this doesn't make sense. It's not adding up. Why would... Why would it be a thief of all women? Zina, a popular thief, well known. Now you listen. I'm expecting you to talk to him. And you're going to do that. I will. I mean, he's the heir apparent to the throne. 
the future king of this kingdom. My prince, you got all this for us. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nothing, actually. Thank you. You've done well. All these things are nothing. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome, Papa. You know, I'm aware um, you lost your job at the council. So I made it a point of duty to, you know, provide for you people the little I can. Yeah. This is not little. Oh, one full bag of rice. Hey, this was in Dunya. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my friends. You're welcome. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, we're still waiting for the doctor to come and speak to Zina on uh, those things you say he was coming to. Do. Um, oh, yes, I'm in touch with the doctor, and uh, he'll be coming to the palace to brief us on. Um, Zina's situation, yeah. No longer here in the house, but the palace. I think the palace is a lot better, yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. She'll be fine. It was great. She'll be fine. Uh, Papa. Um, you can hold on to this in case you need to buy anything for the family. Yeah. yeah. All these for us. Oh yes. Oh. Ah. My yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's okay. Oh my God, we bless you. You're welcome. He will answer your secret prayers. Amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you so much. We've been blessed. Amen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. My friends, thank you so much. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. And Papa, I was going to tell you that I have spoken with the authorities and they promised to give you back your job. How? Oh. 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 This God. My friend, thank you so much. My God, you bless you. My God, you bless you. Bless you. All your secret prayers must be answered. Thank you. Hey! Hey! You're welcome. Hmm. Yeah. My friends. I must say thank you to you. Thank you so much for everything you've done for my family ever since my dad lost his job. I'm so grateful. You're very welcome, Zina. Did you forget I'm responsible for what happened to your father? I mean, he lost his job because of me, so I have to do what I have to do to ensure that I put smiles on your faces. I mean, it's not everybody that would do what you just did. Honestly, you're a good man. Thank you for your kind words. Zina, I am in love with you. I want to marry you. Together we can rule this kingdom in the future. My prince, do you think I'm fit for all of that? I'm a thief, remember? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. That's funny. I want you to pay the entire royal house a visit. Can you do that? Sorry, who? Me? Yeah. Oh, my prince, I can't do that. I can't do that. Your parents have given their stance on this. You will just put me to more trouble. That's what you want to do. I love you. With all my heart. Zina, you are the woman of my dreams. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want you to be my queen. And most importantly, the doctor is coming over to educate my parents. They need to understand that Cryptomania is a mental disorder. It is not a lifestyle. And that way, they would accept you. My friends, I, my friends, this whole thing, I'm confused. Honestly, this whole thing is sounding somehow to me. I don't know. I'm confused. You don't have to be confused. 
Do you know why? You have found favor in the sight of the gods. And you are the chosen one. Yes. Allow me to make my choice. I know what I want. What's up, man? Okay. You didn't come with your wife. Hmm. My wife is busy with her online classes. You know the tutorial that she's been taking. Oh, recently. yes. Yes, yes, yes. I remember you told me about that. How's that coming up? Well, um, except for a few lessons here and there, she's been complaining, though that wasn't what she was expecting. But what, what can we do? That's great. Good luck to her. Oscar. You're staring at me. Is that something you want to talk to me about? What is this that I'm hearing about you planning to set for a thief? I beg your pardon? You heard me right. What is this that I'm hearing about you setting for a non-criminal? You need to watch your language, Oscar. And yes, you heard right. The truth is, whether or not she is a thief, I'll get married to her. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. I don't know if you're familiar with this saying that it's only the mirror that will always tell you what a friend will never tell you. You're my bosom friend and I will tell you the truth. Right. I don't think it's right that the hair apparel to the throne of this great kingdom will be settling for a criminal of a wife. It doesn't make sense. Oscar, people who live in glass houses do not throw stones. Yes, I know that. Were you thinking right when you left your girlfriend of seven years to marry a village girl? Okay, um, I think I like that question. You see, there are things that inform our opinion in this life as humans. The things we read, the things we saw, the things we experienced and who we are. Right. Circumstances that surrounded me leaving my ex was something that has to do with life and death because my mother was in the picture. Good for you. Now listen, this conversation is on different ground. You are the next king of this kingdom. Everyone from this kingdom will be looking up to you as their king. Are you going to oblige such a magnificent throne with a criminal of a queen? Does it make sense? Oscar. Zina is going to be my wife and there's nothing anybody can do about it. Zina or no other woman. And if I don't marry Zina, I'll rule this kingdom without a queen. But you and I know that it's not possible. Because before you can ascend the throne as a king, you must present a queen. And the king's men will be waiting for you to do so. Watch and see. Watch and see. Watch and see, my friend.
please. What is Girl? it? Um, I just want to get to know you, please. You want to get to know me? Why? Why do you want to get to know me? What is it? Just get the hell out of my room. Um, okay, my name is um, Andre, aka Obina Kweze. Yeah? So what's your name? You are so unbelievable. Really? Of course, telling me your name will not hurt. Hmm? What do you want? Oh. What do you want now? I just want to get to know you more. Alright? You want to get to know me? You want to get to... I know of you. I know men like you. I know your type. But you know what? You will tell them that you did not see me. Uh, look, you sound so pained. I, I can actually see it in your eyes. But I want to promise you that I am a different person. Probably you, you've seen a lot. Hmm? You're going through a lot, but can you hop into my car? All right, I, I'm going to take you to wherever you want to go. I should hop into your car. Drag me now. Uh, Drag me now. Carry me and put inside your car. There's no way I'm Kidnapper. Doing that, right? Come on, get out of my phone. I just want to get high and then do some dirty things with you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, babes, mm -hmm. that's your mumu husband, self. You mean, say, since he married you, he don't know what you do for this house. Stella, huh? leave my man alone. <sighs> leave my marriage alone. I've told you this countlessly. Hmm? Let's just get high and then I'll take you to the mall and back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, babe. I know. And you are the best. Of course. The sweetest thing I've ever heard. Sugar. <laughs> and I will give it to you so hard. Trust me. Really? Of course. <laughs> you know what? I can't wait. Really wait. I have a surprise for you. Mm -hmm. Surprise? Yes. I want my dad be. Just wait. Let me go and get it. Really? Yes. All right. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel so good. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You got this. Sure. You like it, right? I love it. Oh. <laughs> oh. So let's just get high, then after mm -hmm. which we'll enjoy ourselves with this. Yeah. Not got you. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling <laughs> it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Get down. Come. I'm not sure about this. But I'm sure. Why? I don't know, but I feel like something will go wrong. Hey, listen to me. Nothing is going to go wrong. I'm in charge here. Okay? Let's go. What is she doing here? I'm off.
Mom, we're getting married soon. So I thought it wise to bring her over so she can get familiar with the palace. That's a good idea, isn't it? I hope she's leaving this palace today, Cass. I am not willing to stay under the same roof with a thief. Beg your pardon, Mom. Mom, you need to watch your language, okay? That's my wife to be. You can't speak to her in that manner. This silly thief will steal your father's crown. And before you know it, she will steal his staff of authority. And she will steal all of us away. Mom. I do not want that. Mom. Hey! Mom. You are a day three, so you better wake up from your slumber because I'm not going to allow this happen. Mom, stop embarrassing me, please. Did you say embarrassment? Let's go. Now hold it. I will not allow you into this palace because I'm not willing to look for my panty panties. You will not steal my brat. Okay. Hey, you will not even steal. I will not allow it. Not even a toothpick. You will not steal. Okay, let's go through the back, all right? Let's go through. Come, come here. Through the back? Let's go. I've got too many chickens there. How many are they? I think. Five, six, seven. My goodness. Having a thief in the palace is another thing. Hey! What is it? Sweetheart, you cannot just sit here and relax like nothing is going wrong in this palace. Please calm down and talk to me. What is the problem? Is it not your son? What about my son? He has returned to this palace with a common thief. What? Of course! This is a thunderbolt of Jupiter. Now, Your Majesty, with all due respect, I need you to come through this girl away like a piece of trash that she is. Else! I will do something that every one of us will regret. And I'm not kidding. So, 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 suffering from a mental defect called malady. This infatuation is getting too much, and I must do something to stop it. I'm so sorry. I apologize on her behalf. Madam Chief, I want this young girl out of my palace this minute. Right now, I want her out. Father, that's impossible because she goes nowhere. What? Yes. You young girl, now get out of my palace and go back to your father's Stay house. Stay where you are. I hope this is clear. She goes nowhere, Father. You, listen to me. I don't want to see you anywhere close to my son again. Yes. Have I made myself clear? Yes, you will. Now get out. Father. You need to stop. She is the chosen one. What in the name of Amado are you talking about? A thief cannot be a future queen of a dodgy kingdom. Father, you have to watch your language. She is not a thief. She only has a mental disorder. She's kleptomaniac. You can't say that. You have to wait for the doctor to come. The doctor has the final say. He has to educate you on what you need to know. It's obvious my son is mentally deranged. Love on the beautiful teeth. When you find your soulmate, your soulmate. So, yeah, can you please make me something to eat? There is no food in the house. I don't understand that there is no food. You knew very well that I went to work, that by the time I'm back, that I'm going to be hungry. Can you please give me something to eat? I just said, there is no food in the house. How can you say there is no food in the house? So what you do from morning till night is to press phone. You're always on your phone. So I'm not allowed to press phone again? This has got nothing to do with you pressing your phone or not. But when I was leaving this house in the morning, you were on your phone. And now I am back to my own house. You are still pressing phone. Baby, you should know that I am taking some online classes. I see no reason why you are complaining. You are not the only human who is taking the same tutorial classes online. What you ought to do as a good wife is hence I've returned and I've complained that I'm hungry. You should leave whatever you're doing and go to the kitchen and help me fix something. That is the right thing to do. I should leave what I'm doing to go make you food to eat. 
Are you, are you serious right now? I go out from this house, I leave this house every morning just to get something to put food on the table and the woman I left at home is busy pressing her phone for money tonight? Oh my Oscar, if you are desperately in need of food, why can't you go in there, freshen up, go to the kitchen and make something for yourself to eat? Besides, there is no law that says that it must be a woman that will make food for her husband. Stop disturbing me, please. So this is what the feminism is all about. So this is what the, 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 the agenda, the feminist agenda that you propel all the time. This is what it entails. Oscar, I am your wife. Oh yes, I know that. You're made. You have called me some respect. You, you, you have, you have the moral, the moral audacity to, to talk back at me when you know that all you do in this house is to press your phone for money tonight. Let me have the phone. Oscar, Oscar the, give me my the, phone. I am not giving. I'm not giving this phone. I am not giving this phone. This is the reason you have felt you are just as a woman. I leave this house every morning to get food for us to eat. And all you simply do is to press phone for money tonight. And you want me to patronize you? I will not do a thing like that. I am not your maid. You are not my I am your wife. You are my wife. And I leave this house as a husband to provide for you. So you should sit up to your responsibility and not make excuses on your phone. I don't know if you are aware that there are so many men out there who make their wife breakfast on bed. Listen, sit down here and let me throw some sense into you. There are so many men out there who make breakfast for their wives on the bed because their wives are doing the right thing. Nobody will celebrate a useless and irresponsible wife anywhere. Oscar, let me have my phone. I am not giving this phone. Give me my phone. I said I am not giving this phone. This is all you do. I don't know where you are ranting. Go make food for yourself. Stop ranting. Let me have my phone. You give me back my phone. You wait. You're watching porn? Oh my god. Is this a tutorial class that you attend online? You're watching the apex, the rubicon of demonic affair. Let's be honest. Oh, baby, you should know whatever thing I'm doing there. I'm doing it for us, baby. You're watching two women have sex. Maybe it's not what you think. This is the apex of demonic affair. Don't you know that? I'm learning. Sexuality, so that I can know how to handle you well on bed and at least take you to cloud nine. You should know, baby. Hey, I'm doing it for us. Did you say cloud nine? Yes, baby. I just... Oh, how did you know about cloud nine? Because you are supposed to be a village woman. You are supposed to represent a woman that I picked from the village. So who taught you about cloud nine? Oh my God. What is going on? It's not what you think. He said I didn't even know how I jumped into that video. Uh, hey, hey, enough of this. By the time I return to this house, then if I have other things to tell you, then you will hear from me. Let me fix myself something to eat. Please. I cannot be married to a woman like this. Are you scared? I told you I don't even know how I got to that video. Father, you need to relax. You need to calm down. She is not your enemy. She's a good person. She only has a problem. The doctor is coming to, to explain everything to you. You need to relax. Sam, how do I make you understand that stealing is usually associated with genetic cases and not with medicine? What's the essence of bringing a doctor? With a case we know that she is a thief, a known one at that. Father, when the doctor comes, he has a better explanation to give you. Just relax and wait for him to come. Well, I give you a minute for that. Until the doctor comes. Good. You like orange juice? I think I do. <laughs> really nice. So I I brought you here to, you know, get some fresh air. Mm, yeah. You it's like it here? Really nice out here. Good. Oh, I need to call Dr. Morris. Okay. He needs to know you're here now. All right, that's fine. Yeah, just give me a sec. Uh, he needs to know you're here. That's fine. 
Hi, doctor. Good day. How's work? Oh, she's uh, she's doing very fine. She's right here with me in the palace. Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Oh, just sorry. Hey, hey, Doctor Maris. Oh yes, I'm good. All right, we're respecting you. All right. Hi, Doc. All right, so uh, I'm expecting you. All right, thank you. All right, see you. Bye. Yeah. Hi, Mom. I don't know what you guys are up to, but believe me, whatever it is, it will not work. Because the last thing I will do is to accept this local thief as my daughter-in-law. It will not work. Oh, you think I'm kidding? Mom! Hey, 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 you better keep quiet! <coughs> That's it! Mom! So what do you want to do, sir? Do you want to hit your mom? No, go on and hit me! Hit me now! Because of this thief! You haven't seen anything yet. I will keep frustrating you till you get the hell away from this palace Mom. and return to the pit of hell where you came from. Hey, one more word from you. I will hit you. I'm still your mother. Rubbish. Hey, listen. I... I apologize, all right? I'm going to take you inside and I'm going to clean you up and we're going to pretend this never happened, all right? Don't think about it. Don't do anything. Switch off your emotions. I promise you I'll handle this. Come with me. Come. Face. <laughs> You're the guy from the other day, yeah? Oh, yes. I'm the one. Oh, well, sorry, I was actually coming from a, a supermarket over there. So I, I had a glimpse of you and decided to start. So, how are you? Okay, so now that you have found me, can you leave? So I'll continue with what I'm doing. Oh, are you going to chase me out again? Um, Mr. Whatever. I'm a very busy person. Please leave. <laughs> I guess you've not seen a stubborn person before. I'm not going to leave this place until you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here is your case then. Oh, yeah, please. No. What, what are you doing? Don't do that, please. Don't... Sit down. Really? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm Eve. Eve? <laughs> What's a beautiful name? Oh, Miss Eve. Has anyone told you how beautiful you are? Thank you. <laughs> With your cute little smile. Stop hiding it. Alright? <laughs> what can I do for you? Just 
update tonight. Please. My wife is complaining bitterly of her Akamis. This is the first time something like this is happening in my palace. What? My crown. And my set. What? Even my crown too is missing. Do you have anything that doesn't belong to you? Did you take my mother's beads? She is looking for them. She's downstairs trying to tear the entire palace apart. Do you have them? Do you? All right, come. Come show me where you kept them. I told the prince that I would love to speak with the royal family in order for us to talk about what this beautiful soul is going through. What Zina here is going through is what in medical terms we call kleptomania. 
and the victim suffering from such illness is called a kleptomaniac. What is kleptomania? Your Majesty, a kleptomania is an impulsive disorder, a mental illness that when it comes, it comes with an irresistible urge for you to steal and what you are stealing is what you don't even need. And this occurs mostly with women. So, what is the medical care for this? Your Majesty, there is no particular cure to kleptomania. But talk therapy and some medication may help end the cycle of the patient stealing. Um, you talked about therapy. Can you highlight what you mean? Can you throw more light on the use of therapy? My prince, there are therapies that can be used, which are the cognitive therapy, the behavioral therapy, and the psychotherapy and others which I didn't list above. All she has to do is that whenever she has the urge to steal, she should hold her breath until it becomes very painful. By doing so, the urge to steal will leave immediately. Um, doctor, what you're trying to say is that Whenever the urge comes, I should just hold my breath for a long time. Is that what you're saying? Yes, Zina. Whenever the urge to steal comes, all you have to do is for you to hold your breath until it's very, very painful. Then you release yourself. Then you breathe in. By doing so, the urge to steal will leave immediately. Thank you, Doctor. Hello. <laughs> Doing. How are you? I'm fine, welcome. Thank you. Oh. Is you at work? Yes. Hmm? Do you ever have time for yourself? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> have you had lunch? No. You see, you can't even remember. <laughs> you've been working all day. What was the time now? And you've not had lunch. Well, I'm, I'm here for us to do lunch together. The thing is, I have so many works on my hands, so I'll pass. You'll pass? Yes, I'm very busy. You're very busy that you can you can spend a, an hour of your time for, for a friend? Huh? Please, an hour. Okay, fine. You win. Really? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kleptomaniacs experience tension before stealing, followed by a period of relief or gratification. However, many of the victims often feel guilty or remorseful after their action, wanting to hide or return most of the stolen items. But those therapies and lifestyle changes I discussed earlier can help a kleptomaniac manage the symptoms. So what are likely the signs of kleptomania? Your Majesty, the most prevalent and obvious sign of kleptomania is for the victim to always steal unnecessary items. They always steal things they don't need. And on doing that, they regret most of the times. Ooh. Your Majesty, a person with kleptomania will continue stealing despite the warnings, repercussions or threats that she must have gotten. Ooh. Welcome. Thank you. So look around. 
Could you log this, please? The place is nice. Really? Yeah, I like the fact that it's a serene environment. It's really calm and quiet. <laughs> Good. So, what would you like to eat? Um, what do they have? Okay, they they have continental dishes and it's very nice. Uh, Stephanie, Steph, come, come, come. Here's <coughs> many. Okay, we have donut jollof, Chinese rice, European turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Make you know try. what? I'll just do. I'll just do this. Something really light. Okay, ma'am. First of all, yes, sir. Um. Uh, so you're a regular customer here. I mean, you already know the names of the workers. The names of the worker? Oh, they're actually my workers. I don't understand. Okay. Uh, I own this place. Yes. Las Vegas Hotel and Suits. Um, this is actually one of them. Really? <laughs> I mean, you didn't tell me. Same as you don't know me. Uh, I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's not your fault. Because I, I base up world. Oh, United Kingdom precisely. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just came home to do some touches, you know, fix things and fly back to, to the States. I see. <laughs> That's nice. Um, okay. Michael! Can you tell us the causes of crippling? My friend, there are different possible causes of crippling. Number one is low serotonin levels, stress, addiction, learned habits, family history of mental problems, personal history of mental problems. These are the major causes of Kleptomania. So, um, tell me about yourself. <laughs> There's nothing really special about me to talk about. Mm. Well, you can actually start from telling me about your family, where you're from, and the reason for this pains in your eyes. Mm? I feel so confused and out of place. Out of place? I want to hear all. Hmm? Tell me about it. <laughs> More ears. My name is Eve. Getting Karunwa over there for me. I'm a graduate of um, physics. But my love for fashion is the reason I'm into fashion designing. <laughs> I mean, my mother is also a fashion designer. So. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm the first child of the family of seven. We have um, 
three girls and two boys. <laughs> yeah, <I've wonder>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, <nah. laughs> Wonderful. So I met this guy in school, Oscar. That's his name. We um, both graduated with an um, upper class in physics. So you guys were classmates? I don't know. We were in the same department, but he was two years ahead of me. Numerous complications are associated <laughs> to being addicted to stealing. Kleptomania can affect one's well-being, including your emotional life, professionally, and also it will affect your day-to-day -day well being. Untreated kleptomania may worsen the symptoms of other conditions like depression, low self-esteem, and others. There are other things associated with this mental disorder which time will not permit me to go through. Hmm. Oscar graduated before me anyways. And um, before he left for NYSC, he engaged me. Okay. Oscar has been the only man I have ever known. He took my virginity. Sometime last year, his friend that was squatting with him was murdered in cold blood. He came back home to see his friend with a scissors tucked to his chest and some used condoms. Then he raised them around. Really? Could it be the guy was murdered by by his sex partner. I think so. Oh. Because his neighbor said he used to bring in prostitutes when Oscar is not around. And make sure she didn't lack anything. These clothes. Uh, Oscar was arrested for murder. Even though he pleaded his innocence, the police refused to grant him bail. Oscar was charged the court. For eight months, he was paraded and persecuted. I took care of his mother and made sure she didn't lack anything. Be it food or clothing. Oh, oh no. It was obvious Oscar was going to go to jail for what he knew nothing about. <sighs> and Yeah, the judge told me that if truly Oscar makes the word to me, I had to pay through my nose. What? So, what did you do then? I was neck bent into that relationship. That I did the unspeakable.
I sell my father's only piece of land to make sure Oscar doesn't go to jail. You did what? That singular act killed my father. Oh! He slumped and died instantly on hearing that I sold his only inheritance. Oh. Up until now, my mother and my siblings have not forgiven me. They don't even speak to me. It's fine. Don't worry. Dr. Morris, I want to thank you immensely for the insights. I appreciate. Doctor, um, it's been a productive conversation we've had. We have spent so much time learning from you, and I'm grateful that uh, there's a solution. Yes. However, we have to commence treatment. Yes, my prince. The treatment has to commence with her. Zina, you heard all I've said. Whenever the urge comes for you to steal, you take a deep breath. And when it becomes painful, you relieve yourself. The urge will go away. Doctor, please tell me, for how long will I continue like this? For as long as it lasts. You see, Your Majesty, Zina here has to be treated with utmost love. Someone with kleptomania does not have to be treated like outcast. She's just a victim of circumstance, Your Majesty. Noted. Your Majesty, I bet you take my leave. Zena, I'll be inside. Zina, I totally understand how you feel, but it's okay. You can't keep feeling this way. There's a solution. The doctor said once treatment is commenced, you're going to be fine again. Right? Everything is going to be fine. Right? Okay. Even though he pleaded his innocence, the police refused to grant him bail. Oscar was charged the court. For eight months, he was paraded and persecuted. It's okay. I took care of his mother and made sure she didn't lack anything. Be it food or clothing. Oh, oh, oh. It was obvious Oscar was going to go to jail for what he knew nothing about. <sighs> and then the judge told me that if truly Oscar meant the word to me, I had to pay through my nose. What? So, what did you do then? I was neck bent into that relationship. 
that I did your speakable. I sell my father's only piece of land to make sure Oscar doesn't go to jail. You did what? That singular act killed my father. Oh! He slumped and died instantly on hearing that I sold his only inheritance. Oh. Up until now, my mother and my siblings have not forgiven me. They don't even speak to me. That's fine. Don't worry. Okay. Zena. Yes, Your Majesty. With all sincerity, we apologize for being irrational to you all the while. I have no grudge against the real family. Well, that's fine. As for your father that was retrenched, based on my instructions, I want to tell you that um, he will be called back to office. Oh, thank you so much, Your oh, Majesty. No, no, no. Thank you. Let's sit up. Excuse me for a moment. Yes, I am calling in respect to Mr. Clement Honora that was retrenched a while ago because of my instructions. I want him to be called back to office as soon as possible. Please facilitate his calling back. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. Thank you. All right. um, Robin, I'll be upstairs. Excuse me. You good? Yes, I am. I apologize on their behalf. Forgive them. Come on. I heard nothing against them. Believe me. That's good to know. You heard what the doctor said? <sighs> yes, I did. You're going to be fine in no time. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, thank you so much for loving me. Unconditionally, even when I don't deserve your love. My heart belongs to you. And I tell people that love is the true meaning of life. Life is nothing without love. So I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much for loving me. Welcome. So I will start from taking you to the village. What for? You know, Eve, first of all, you, you need to make peace with your family. After then, you go to your, to your father's grave and ask for forgiveness. You think I haven't tried? I've tried countless times. I've tried to, 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 to go to them, to even to tell them I'm sorry, but they would not even let me to the compound. All right, this time around, I'm going with you. What do you think? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You are welcome. All right? So... <laughs> It's your food. I'm fine. I think I lost my appetite already. Oh, you're fine. 
Oh. Okay, I need to go back to the shop. They're calling me. Oh, okay. Yes. Let's run. Um, where are they? I caught you again. You're stealing glances at me. Oh. But it's not wrong if I... If I admire a very beautiful woman. You know, I will... brag about you to my friends and I will tell them that I have a beautiful <laughs> sister. A fashion designer for that matter. Okay. <laughs> you know, anybody that sees you would know that you're into fashion. Of course, I'm a fashion designer. <laughs> wow. You know, I'm happy that I... I am finally cracking your ribs and make you smile. I mean, it's crazy. I'm actually very happy that I'm smiling again. I mean, you need to like... <laughs> Marry me and be the mother of my kids. What What did you say? Uh, Andre, we just went. I know. But I fell in love with you the very moment I set my eyes on you. There's no way I am going to hurt you or do you wrong. Um, Alright? See, I haven't healed from my last heartbreak. <laughs> this will work. Please. Marry me and make me the most happiest man on earth. Fine, I'll, I'll think about it. It's okay. You don't want to. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. You don't want to make up to make me breakfast to eat before going to work. Every day I have to remind you that you need to make me breakfast. How can a man do one be sleeping by this time of the day? Past eight. And you know your husband is going to work. What kind of life is this? Hey? Mama, what have you got me into? Is this the wife you told me that you wanted me to marry? Oh God. My Eve can never be this kind of woman. The Eve I would have married would have been a woman that would wake up every morning to make sure that I ate something. As a matter of fact, the Eve that I know would beg me to ensure that I eat something before I go to work. But here, every day I wake up before you in the morning, I have to remind you to make me something to eat to go to work. This is just a few months into my marriage and I'm facing this kind of thing. God, what have I done? Mama, I wish you can come and see the kind of woman you have. You have pushed me in to marry. Alright! Continue sleeping! Let me go to the kitchen and fix myself something to eat before going to work. After all, I have a wife that I provide for. Hello, Mama. No, I don't need anything. I just came to assist you in cooking. Okay, but I don't need any assistance. Please, let me assist you. I mean, I've been idle doing nothing. I just want to do something. Listen, 
I am the cook here. And my job is to cook and serve the royal family. And not the other way around. Do you think I don't know all of that? I know, but I insist. Let me do the cooking, please. Insist. Thank you very much. Alright, so you're done with the peppers. Okay, she start from the pot. Where is my own? Which responsible married woman will be on the bed whilst her husband prepares for work and she wouldn't go to the kitchen to fix him something? Yes, on the bed doing nothing. Finally, the almighty Oscar went to the kitchen, made some noodles and two boiled eggs. Did your hand cut? Hmm? As far as I'm concerned, Kitchen is not made for women alone. You are such a huge disappointment. Thank you. Well, I just hope there is still some food for me because yes. if I'm hungry, I will definitely eat this food. Of course. There is food in the kitchen for you, but that food must be the one you made yourself. Oscar, I am aware I did not make breakfast for you this morning. But you did, and I'm entitled to eat. Well, you're entitled to eat, that's true. But that has to be food you made yourself. Come to think of that, what else do you do in this house? You wake up in the morning, all you do is you sit down on the bed, grab your phone and spend hours and hours. Oh, that reminds me, the phone is with me. You will not see that phone again before you end up finding a woman that you end up practicing the apex of demonic affair with, lesbianism, all in the name of feminism. Oscar, before you leave this house, make sure you drop my phone. Did you hear me? If I want to build this house, try stopping me. Oscar, make sure you drop my phone before leaving this house. Else you will see the other side of me. And I bet you you won't like it. We shall see. Oscar, can I give me my phone? You, for this food. you will not eat this food. You will not I eat this food. I will not eat it, right? You won't eat it either. My presence, you are very lucky. <laughs> Oma, can you please not call me princess? But why? You will soon become the princess of this great kingdom. You shall make a good queen. Really? Yes. <laughs> Until then, just call me by my name, Zina, please. Alright. In that case, let me go and set up the dining. Okay, please do. Keep me that.
Are you okay? My presence. Are you okay? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> I'll be fine. I'll be fine, Omar. I'm fine. Okay, let, let me dish the food. Then. Yes, just dish the food. Your Majesty. Where is Zina? She's in the kitchen. The kitchen? Hey. Kindly get her, okay? Um, I'm sorry, my prince. The princess is not feeling fine. Oh, just shut up. Um, Are you the one that met her, the princess of the skin down? What, Your Majesty? I'm here. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'll go get her. <laughs> hey, uh, are you okay? Sit down. Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oma, what happened? I have no idea, my prince. When she was done cooking, I left to set up the dining. When I went back, I. I noticed something that seemed like a seizure. I, she was holding her breath. She heard it for so long before I started calling on her attention. You mean she's the one that prepared this Olubu soup? Yes, Your Highness. Wow. Are you for real? Oh, she's a good cook. She Thief. Is. Uh -oh. hmm? She's a thief. Some of this, just a little, okay? You okay? Want some food? Thank you, I'm fine. Love on the I don't know why my wife is still kicking against Mother Bridge's decision to marry Zina. We all know what that young girl is passing through. Dr. Morris has placed her on medication. All we need to do is just to encourage the young girl, pray for her until she heals. I need to talk to my wife about this so seriously. She needs encouragement. Mama, the wife you found for me has killed me. There is nothing good about the woman you found for me. The woman you compelled me to marry. Oh, yeah, is a good girl for me, good family. That's why I recommended that for you. Mama, the girl in question, there's nothing good about that girl. Mama, do you know the kind of wife you made me to marry? Mama, you don't know that girl. Mama, do you know that I would wake up every morning to prepare for work? My wife, who is supposed to prepare what I'll eat before I go to work, would be busy sleeping. Yeah! Mama, even when I then make out time to go to the kitchen to make what I will eat for myself, the wife you found for me would come out from her bedroom and then come and drag that food with me. I see that is not enough, Mama. Hold on, let me show you something. Show me what? <laughs> let me show you. Hey! Back up and I here, you will not understand. Mama, I want you to watch this. What do you want me to watch this nonsense now? Eh? Mama, yeah, observe. Mama, the be on her phone. Watch it. Hey! I am sorry I have to show you this, but this nonsense, this that you refer to as nonsense, is what the wife you found for me watches from morning till night in the house. Hey! 
You said she was a good girl. Yeah. Mama, these are these are the kind of women that are hungered of marriage but emptied Hi. of commitment. This is the wife you said you found for me. I cannot believe I left if for such a wife. I begged you to let me marry Eve, but you insisted. You said over your dead body would Eve come into our home. A wife I found for myself, Mama. A good woman I found for myself. Hey, I'm a woman now. What's our daughter? Mami Bugom. I thought she's a good girl. Look at how I use my heart to scatter my own life. Sometimes you parents don't understand what hey! the children go through when we tell you to let us marry the people who want to marry. You saw everything a woman should be in Eve. But you choose a whore, a street girl over a good girl because she pretended to be what she's not. Nezenem, I go to the kitchen to make what I eat. Hi, And I have a wife. There's nothing wrong with me making what I eat, but when it becomes a lifestyle, that's the problem. No, no, and there's no, a woman no, no, in the no, house. No, no, no. Bam, 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 bam. And I still leave the house every morning to look for what she will eat. When she needs money, she comes to me. Hi. Oh, I'm gonna Hi. Hi. God! God! Did you not hear that horn outside? Come on, will you go and open the gate for my daughter-in-law? Girl, look at you, my pilot. Mm -hmm. Mom, yes, darling. You look good. Really? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So you finally answered my call. Mom, mm -hmm. do you know I would have loved to come earlier, right? Okay. But you know the nature of my job. I do, I do. <laughs> okay. Oh, you um, look good. Thank you, Mom. Mm. What about Dad? Okay, he's inside. Okay, Come, let's go. Oma! Oma! Yes, my queen. Get her things from the car. Yes, ma'am. Come, let's go, my darling. Hi! Mama Onye told me that she's attending tutorial classes online. Uh, which one is tutorial classes online? Mama, she told me that she's learning how to tie her tie and make makeovers. What is makeover? Mama, makeover is beautifying one's face. Okay, you mean makeup? Yes. I'm learning how to tie her tie. Exactly. Oh, I didn't want uh, uh, But has she been learning it? Yes, very well. Yeah. You saw it now? That's what you watched on the phone now, where she's learning it. She's professionally learning how to make makeovers. How can you call that nonsense that I watch on your phone? Makeup. Mama, but that is what she watches from morning till night. Mbana. No, that is the makeup that we are talking about here. Hey! That's what she watches from morning till night. She naked me. I will go out in the morning to go and look for what she used in feeding my family. I will leave the house every morning to come back at night. All to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. And the wife I left, all she does is to watch pornography. Mm -hmm. Mama, that is the wife you found for me. That is the wife you swore that is the person I needed. My son. Eh? Don't, don't, don't take it that way. I never knew that this guy is like this. So, eh? Put it nonsense in your house. Okay, how about. Uh, uh, the other side of it. Do you people normally meet? Ah, ah. You better do, Mama. Now, you. 
you're asking if we are not doing the other one. Mama, let me tell you what is happening in my house. Mama, I would beg and beg and beg. Mama, she will tell me that she's not in the mood. <laughs> Mama, she will tell me she doesn't like sex. Mama, she will tell me that sex is not her thing. Hi! Wow, she's she's engaged in the apex of demonic affair. Both sex meeting each other. You mean you have to beg this girl to enjoy what you have already paid for? Eh? I should be asking you. Hi! You can't ask me that question. That is why I am here. Mama, that is the simple way that you told me that is the best wife for me. Mama, that simple way is the reason you swore that you would take your life if I marry you. What did he do to you to have merited that stand that you took? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't take it that way. You forgot so fast on the sacrifices he made on the altar of his family. I beg you dearly to let me marry the woman of my heart. But you said only oh, is the best for me. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Only am. Remember, you have ruined my home. So, you, know, you have taken away my happiness from me. Hi! You know what? I will have to come to that city. I have to talk senses into that girl. Eh? So now, Mama has to come to the city to talk to the wife she found for me. Whereas I presented a good woman that I want to spend my life with to you. Anytime I think of it, my heart is in pain. Hi. I don't know if I would ever forgive myself to for death because of what this family did to me. It's alright. Since you said you will come to see you to talk to her. Please, I will dice you. Do it for my words. Come in, come in, my darling. <laughs> Welcome. The past hasn't really changed. She looks the same. I know. Mom. Where is she? Oh, this. She is one of the palace maid. The palace maid. What is she doing here? I have told her over and over again not to enter this living room to see movies, but she wouldn't listen. You know how those peasants are. Give them a pool, and they would want to take two. Hey, get out. Get out! Are you there? She said, get out. Get out! You know your duty is right. Get to it. See? Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. But why do you allow these people here? They are maids. Oh, fine. Take a bus straight to Princess Room. Yes, my queen. So, Mom, tell me, how is life generally? Very well, darling. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> look at you. You look beautiful. Thank you. Mom. My pilot. Thank you. Have a cheeky cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what can I get for you? Um, nothing. Oh, here's the prince. I haven't seen him. Oh, he's gone to the office. Really? Mm. He's dead at work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me quickly call him. I know you'll be glad that I'm here. Oh, sure, he will be happy. <laughs> like, oh. um, I'm so happy. Like, super happy. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. I mean, uh, uh, immediately after the reconciliation, like, 
I felt like something left me. Like I just feel like something left my body. Like seriously? Yes. You know, I've been having this this um uh -huh. I've been having this burden inside of me, like before now. I've been having this burden. But immediately after I reconciled with my family, both the living and the dead, it disappeared. <laughs> I'm happy oh for you. Oh my god. Thank you so much, my brother. I mean, you made this happen. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without you. You know, I had to do what I had to do to unite <laughs> you and and your family back. Thank you. I mean, you brought up, you brought back the existing peace between me and my family. Really? <laughs> <laughs> like I watched how you you were talking to them, like. You were just speaking, talking and talking and talking and you were listening. My family have not spoken to me in two years. I've been trying to talk to them in two years. They've not spoken to me, but you just came and... You're, you're really, really, really blessed with yourself. <laughs> so you think making peace is my calling? I know, I don't think. Okay. You know, your younger brother asked if I'm your husband. What? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you tell him? What would you have me say? The answer was yes, no. Yes. Yes. Why? Why, why? 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 Yes? Are you why, my? Are you why my husband? Not? Are you my husband? Yes, is yes. <laughs> your husband, by the special grace of God. Are, are you? <laughs> <laughs> that boy is silly. He's, uh, he's really not silly. silly. <laughs> what kind of question was that? He's not silly. I miss them so much. Yeah. I'm so happy. That's fine. Thank you. You're cool now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're really, really happy. Thank you. I like that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> See that smile. Huh? Oh my god. Emma needs you, Minoru. What's that? Stop. Ever age you know. It can so do with your day. It's your tempo. It's okay. Oh. Yes. Not ma. And correct yourself. I'm sorry, my princess. Better. And get out. You again. What are you doing in my husband's room? I thought I asked you to get yourself busy with something, right? So what are you doing here? Excuse me. Stand up and get out! I am sorry to disappoint you, sweetheart. I am not leaving this room. Mm. You won't leave. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are to tell me that? Do you know me? Do you know me? I want to ask you a question. Okay. Just take a look at me. Just look at me very well. Do I look like a palace mate to you? If you're not a palace mate, then who are you? Figure it out yourself. That should be your little assignment. How dare you? Hey, how dare you? What do you have? 
was eight on three. Okay, get out. Just a minute. I said you should get up and get out. Okay, I won't take this rubbish from anyone. Do you mean that Freda is in this palace? Yes, Your Majesty. She came in not quite long. You know, she came in when you were having your siesta. Where is she? Upstairs. She's having a bath and she will soon join us. Upstairs? Not even in the guest room? Oh, Your Majesty. She's in her husband's room. What husband? Why in Prince Sabuche's room when you know he has a guest already? Now what guest are you talking about, Your Majesty? That kleptomaniac? Come on now, Your Majesty. Have I not told you over and over again, there is no way my son will marry that girl, never. Mom! Gently, just gently. Oh, greetings, Your Majesty. Freda, you are here already. Yes, Dad. How are you doing? Well, as you can see, I'm doing pretty well. Now, what's the matter? I heard voices upstairs. What's going on? <sighs> Mom, is not that me? Shh. Calm down. What is it? What exactly is she doing in my husband's bed? <sighs> Please. Help me take her out so that I can undress and shower. Um, Your Majesty, I'm sorry for my manners earlier. Sorry. All right. Come, let's go. Achalogo. I'm coming, Your Majesty. Achalogo. I said I will soon be with you, Your Majesty. I'm coming. Let's go. Come on. What are these women up to? Sorry, who are you? Okay, Frida, the pilot. Oh, Frida. Mm -hmm. Hi. You're the pilot. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Where's my wife? Where's my wife? Your wife? Yes. Did you not meet someone in the room? That's the palace meeting I asked out. You asked who out? The palace mate. That's my wife. I do not understand. Your mom told me Zena is just a common mate. My mom told you that? Mm -hmm. Well, my mom was wrong. That's my wife. I don't understand. Zena is your wife. Yes. The prince, I'm Frida. I'm supposed to be your wife, not that thing. No, Zina is my wife. But wait. You promised to come to Lagos to see me. All of a sudden, you changed your mind. Why? Because I... of that thing? Well, I changed my mind. I don't owe you an explanation as to why I changed my mind. Sorry, have you seen her around? Zina, where is she? She left. Okay, thank you. And where are you going to? To search for my wife. Mom. 
How could you bring me all the way here to lie to me? The prince is married. Says who? Says the prince himself. I beg your pardon. My son is not married. He's available. Still single and searching. Then who is he now? You told me yourself she's just a palace mate. Forgive me for that little lie. I mean, I never wanted my son to end up with such a girl. I keep telling my son, but he wouldn't listen. Even when it's obvious that the girl is suffering from kleptomania. She's a klepto? You know what that means? Of course. It's a mental disease that has to do with stealing. Exactly. That was what Dr. Morris said. And I goggled it. But why is the prince bent on marrying such a girl? I mean, a kleptomaniac. Since he's fully aware that this disease has no cure. I'm telling you. I'm a mother. I mean, I can't sit and watch my only son end or bring such disgrace to this family. No. Okay, so what measure does she use to calm this disorder when the urge comes? Well, according to Dr. Morris, he said um, she has to inhale and hold her breath for a very long time till it becomes painful. That's the only way she can, you know, suppress the urge. Hmm. Yes. It's called... Psychotherapy. But then, have she been on this therapy of late? Well, I think so, but my major concern is um, when this person takes in or becomes a nursing mother, how will she cope? <sighs> this is bad. Very, very bad. So, my prince, what actually happened? To be honest, I have no idea. But I remember my mother invited Frida to the palace. Frida is a daughter to Chief Engineer Rochester. The High Lords? Yes, ma'am. The parents. And what about her? My mother wants me to marry her, but I am she not interested. To I told them that already. Ever since, Zena came back from the palace. She locked herself in and refused to ever go back to the palace. <sighs> Zina, please, can you come out? Can we at least dialogue and talk about this? Please. Can we just... Can we talk about this, please? I promise to make everything right. She locked up herself in her room and refused coming out, eating and swore never to get back to the palace. Zina, I know you can hear me. Listen, I apologize for everything, but please, just come out. I promise to send Frida out of the palace. I promise to do that, if that's going to make you happy. Please. The Queen Mother told Frida that Zina is a palace maid. What? My mother said that to her? Yes. What nonsense. I have to put an end to this. No, no, my prince! Please. Please, I beg you. You don't have to. Don't go comforting her because of me. Remember, she's your mother. But someone has to end all of this. I know. I know that someone has to end all of this, but please, if you love me, 
You have to respect my decision. She's your mother and then I know she means well for you. That's why she's doing all of this. I'm old enough to make decisions for myself. My mother needs to understand that you are my choice. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. However, I apologize for everything. And you don't need to apologize, okay? I understand everything. I love you, Zina. I love you too. And it is you, or no other woman. I know. My mother needs to know that. Mm. Now go in and get your bags. Let's go home. Right, Harry. Mm. Thank you, my prince, for loving her unconditionally. Thank you. I had a friend way back that suffered the same mental disorder. She couldn't stop stealing. She couldn't. She kept on stealing and stealing and stealing. Was it that serious? Mm. One faithful day, or should I say, one faithless day. She was lynched to death by an angry mob for stealing an ordinary phone charger. Are you serious? <sighs> so sorry about that. That was when I learned about the mental disorder called kleptomania we all never knew Emanuela was suffering from a mental disease and she was labeled a thief <sighs> Emanuela a final year undergraduates of civil law what wow mom First thing tomorrow, I'm leaving to Lagos. Mm. Not so fast. <sighs> Mom, I might have to. I wish Prince Madabuchi and Zina well. <sighs> Mom, I want you to show them love. Give them your unwavering blessing and support. Zina is a victim of circumstance. What she's suffering from is not her making. I want you to marry my son. Mom, I can't. I'm very sorry. Prince Manabuchi and Zina have a life together. And I need to go out there to get mine. I'm sorry, Mom. A marriage the God ordained. I can't. <sighs> I just have to move on. You know what? 
Let's just do this thing and get off with it. I need to go and prepare something for my husband before he gets back. You know, I just don't have Oscar's trouble this time around. He has turned to a nag of late. Seriously. Really? So the Queen of England wants to cook today. Wonderful. What's that supposed to mean? Do you cook? No, answer me. Do you cook? He comes back from work and enters the kitchen to cook for himself. Please, spare me the shit. And where did you start getting into my marital affairs? Stella. I don't understand. Are we not partner? <laughs> now listen. If you want us to continue with this whole thing, with this affair, then you have to stay off my marriage. Whatever thing that happened in this house should be my business and my business alone. Did you hear me? Please, I don't have time for that. Do you hear that? Someone is knocking. That yeah. should be Oscar. But he doesn't usually come back home by this time. So, why, why, is, why is he not knocking? Who is there? I did. I guess you should go and check. Who is there? house. Eh, no, Mama, that's not what I mean. Eh. Hmm. What is smiling here? Chili Kelly. Yeah? What is smiling here? What are you Have you been smoking? Smoking? Ha. Mama, no. I don't smoke. Oh. Who is she? Um, welcome. She's my cousin's sister. Stella. Welcome. Uh -huh. Yes, Mama. So, she's your lesbian partner, Abby. Your cousin. You are a liar! Look at your eyes! Look at your ears! What is wrong with you? You know that I was mocking. Up here! Stop it! Okay, you are not the only one that is mocking. Stop it! 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 Taylor, if. If, oh, ah, ah. oh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Welcome. Sorry. You're lost in your thoughts. And you're smiling to yourself. What is it? Nothing. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> really, I'm fine. Ah, ah. It isn't my clutch you're sorry. Ha, if. <laughs> but you told me to come pick it up yesterday. I know. Don't worry, it will be ready soon. When can it be ready? Eh? When you are lost in your thoughts. This is smiling to yourself. It's a man. Hmm? It's a man, I know! No, no, no. Not really, customer. Um, the thing is, I travel to the village. Huh. Yes, that's why your clothes is not ready. Hope no problem. No, no, no. It's, it's for good. But don't worry. Your clothes will be ready tomorrow, unfailingly. And I'll send it across to you. Taylor, let your tomorrow be your tomorrow. 
I don't want to hear any stories. You won't hear. You won't hear stories. Thank you. Smiling <laughs> tell Sorry for the delay. <laughs> Hey. Hello, sweetheart. Welcome. Thank you. Your face looks brighter today. What was the secret? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's all thanks to you. I mean, you made it happen. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> hey, Oninechi. You don't mind, though. So you were here yeah, smoking in, in, in your own husband's house. In my son's, let my son come back first. Let him come back. Mama, why do you want to destroy my marriage? Which marriage? The same marriage that I, I fixed you in at the first place. Mama, I am aware. Uh -huh. I am aware you made me to marry your son. But why do you want to destroy my marriage over a male allegation? It's a male allegation. That I caught you smoking with your lesbian partner in my own son's house. Eh? Okay. Mm. Mama. What lesbian partner are you talking about? Did you see Stella and I naked? Or did you see us doing hey. anything on bed? Whoa! So I'm lying, Abby? No, I'm a liar! Okay, now. So why is this whole room smelling cigarettes? Answer me! Mama, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. So, how can a girl that was married from the village Hey! Be, be smoking in her own husband's house! If you like me, Hey! Mama, why are you accusing me unnecessarily? I've told you that I'm not a lesbian and I do not smoke. Mm. You are not a lesbian and you do not smoke. That means there was a man in this house. Am I lying? No, answer me now. You are not a lesbian. You, are, you didn't smoke. There was a man here. Mama, why are you doing this? <laughs> so, have you had something to eat? Um, no, I haven't. I wanted to finish up with this because I actually told her to come and get it yesterday, but I couldn't meet her, so Walker. I told her I'll get it over to her tomorrow. Walker, honey, you mean the woman that just left? Yes, the lady that just left. Not too much. Actually, I got you, um, I got you lunch. Oh. <laughs> That's so tasteful of you, thank you. You're welcome. But, I'll have to keep it here. No, you, you have to eat it now before you proceed. Look, you're inviting Osa. I, I know what I'm saying, it might be funny to you, but when the Osa comes, all the, those women you, you, you've been making dresses for, they will not look after you. I know what I'm saying. I know, but I just have to finish up with this and... Stop talking and eat, please. Okay. Please. <laughs> Thank you. you know, I, I actually got it when I'm on the way while well, coming. So I want you to have a taste of your food. <laughs> so you bought two plates, one for me and one for you, right? Uh, no, it's all for you. How can I eat two plates of food even if I'm a gluten? Eight and stop talking, <laughs> all right? Hi. You're scared. Quite right. Mm, I couldn't see to yourself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi. Ah, um, sweetheart. You know why? I, I would rather share one lifetime with you then face all the edges of this world alone you know they say love is just a word until someone special comes to give it a meaning you are so natural so attractive you are attractive you're, you're beautiful and presentable Look, it's not as though I've I've got enough money and no material things to offer you, but I'll promise you the greatest gift of all, which is my love. Look, I want you. I want you to be my queen, my pericardial cavity, <laughs> my endocardium, 
the only queen existing in my kingdom. Please. I want you to be the mother of my kids. Marry me and make me the happiest man on earth. Yes. <laughs> just? Yes, yes, I marry you. Just? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Zina, Zina, hey, hey, what is it? My chest, my chest, my chest. So, um, do I need to get you some water or something? Huh? Do you need to drink some water? How long will I continue like this? I'm tired. I'm tired already. I can't do this anymore. I can't. I know, I know how you feel, all right? I know what goes through your mind. You feel I'm going to end up with another woman. No, I won't. We're in this together. I promise to protect you. And in no time, you're going to be fine, okay? Thank you so much, thank you. It's okay, it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. Listen. I have a lot to tell you. Just come with me. Let's go upstairs. What is it? Conversations about marriage. Marriage? Yes. It's time. You need to meet with the Council of Elders. No. Hey, trust me. Everything is fine. Just come with me. You sure about this? Hey, it's all right. Let's go. What is this doing in this house? I knew it. I should have known that there is more to this kind of wife. It's not mine. Where did you see it? How can you say this is not yours? This house is just you and I that live in it. So who would have brought this into this house? I don't know. Where did you see it? Oh, God. I should have known this. When Mama told me that she saw you with your lesbian friend smoking your heads off, I should have known that these things were up. Baby, please don't even go there. Did Mama catch me smoking with anybody? You are unbelieving. Oh, God. Imagine the woman I, I left Eve for. I should have known I married a lesbian and a chain smoker. Is this how my life is going to end? Please, I can take anything from you. But certainly, I cannot take your mother is noticing that I'm a lesbian. What do you mean by that? But of course you are. How am I a lesbian? Do lesbians get married? Do they even, do they have any need of men? Oh my God. Hey, I am finished. Are you just accusing me of just? I am finished. Is this how my life is going to end? How come? Why? Mama? Is this what you call a village woman? Is this a wife, Mama? I should 
should have known this that from the very get go, the first time I saw it, I knew there's something about you. There is something about you. There is nothing decent about the woman you are. Good. You know what? You see, this minute that I'm talking to you, this marriage is over. Ha! You lie. You're going for the gods. Please, we die in this marriage. I am not going anywhere. I, I don't want to do anything that I will regret. I want you to leave this house this minute. This marriage is Master, over. you lie. It is not over. We die in this marriage. I am not going anywhere. I do not want to leave my house. I am you. not going anywhere. I want you to leave my house this minute. Mm. Stop going. I, I don't want you. Don't, don't, don't just push me. Are you mad? Jesus. Are you mad? What's that? Leave What's this house this minute. I am told you. What's that? This man is a Christ! Now make you stop! He's a Christ! You want? No provoke me, no. Guys, if you provoke me for you, I go, I go kill you! I go kill you for you, no, 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 you're Christ! You don't know what? You want my kill for you, no, 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 no! You just said I'm the first person! I will pity you! Because I go just kill Oscar, no provoke me, oh! Oscar, no provoke me, oh! You have killed before! Not today! Oh! Really? Are you just finding out? You're not just a lesbian! You are also a murderer! You are also a lesbian and a murderer! Oh my god. This is this is insane. Stupid man. Mama, Mama, come and see the product you deliver Mama, to me. You have not seen anything Mama, yet. Mama, is this the kind of Oscar, we die you in wanted this me marriage. to settle down with? Oscar, we die in this marriage. So you have killed before? Yes, I have killed before. Oh, you are trusted I'm a village girl. <laughs> that is where you lie. That is where you got it all wrong. Because I am not a village girl. I went to the village to hide. After killing that fool, call himself. Who was even his name? Tony. After killing him with scissors, I had to go to the village to hide. Jesus. Do not mess up with me. Because if you Jesus. try it, I will show you the other side of me. You killed Tony, my friend. Mm. It was you that killed Tony. And you compelled me to go to jail for a crime I didn't commit. You, in fact, you know what? You are not living this house. I am not in this house and I'm calling the police on you. Now you know things. You are not going anywhere. Now you know things. You are not the police. Why don't you try me for this house? I'm going to kill you. Where is my phone? If you try me, I'm going to kill you. I need to call the police. You are not living in this house. Are we going to wait for those love birds oh. till eternity? Ah. Oh. Patience, your majesty. It's their time. I don't have that. Relax. They will soon be here. The cabinets are waiting. I know. Oh no, we'll just call. I understand. Let me call him. My do <laughs> My Sorry, Dad. Sorry, I kept you waiting. Oh, that's fine. Sorry. Ah, how does she look? Gorgeous. Beautiful. Yes. How do I look? Gorgeous. Good. Thank you, Mom. I look good? Yes. All right. You look like a friend. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> shall we? Yes, let's go. All right. Let's go. <laughs> You're closing. Let me help you close up the shop. I mean, I, I, I came back. I, I came back. What are you doing here? 
can't you see? I mean, I, I, I came back for us. You and I. Can't you see? I mean, this is completely for the both of us. You came back. L let me help you close the shop. Now. Stop it. Yes, I, 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 I came back for the both of us. I thought you ended us. I swear it wasn't my fault. I never ended us. It was my mom that did that. She tried to take her life if I end up marrying you and... You know these things. Baby, so mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Okay, fine, sorry. Oscar. You moved on with your village wife. That single decision nearly took my life. I gathered the pieces of my broken heart and I moved on as well. So what do you think you're wearing? You... You got married? Babe. Yes, I got married. That's my husband. That's my husband. Babe. I mean, he picked me up when you jilted me and moved on with your village wife. I don't know what you're doing here. Babe, you got... Can you just listen to me? Oni was not actually the wife material she was supposed to be. See, do you know, Oni, Oni confessed that she was the one that stabbed Tony to death. The Tony you and I know. Oni was the one that killed Tony and she has been arrested by the police. What? Yes. Let's just tell me you're joking. Wait, wait. Your village wife killed Tony? Yes. As a matter of fact, she killed Tony and then ran to the village and acted like a village girl. She's not a village girl. She's a murderer. Baby, baby, please. Wow. Anyways, um, as you can see, I'm closing my store and uh, leaving my husband. Tomorrow we are moving to the state where he's based. So say be well to your mother and um, Oscar. Have a good life. Baby, please don't do this. I beg you. Just give us a chance. I'm sorry about everything that happened. Please, just, stop, just stop, listen to me. Stop. Please, I beg you. Please, just give us a chance. Stop. Please, move now. Just give us a chance. Please, I beg you. My husband is here. Stop doing this thing now. Please, please, can you help me talk to? Please talk to her for me, please. I swear it was his intention. Now, please. please, just give me that chance, please. I will make this up to you. I stop and beg it. It's my mom's decision and not mine. Like, I, please, just give us a chance. I've had enough of this. All right, let's go. All right, please. Just kidding. Please, can you help me talk to her? Please, I beg you, please. Can, can you help me talk to her? Babe, I love you. I can't let go of you. Can't you see? Bro, please, can you help me talk to her? Oh, I'm sorry, please, I beg you. Stay away from my woman. Listen, if I see you anywhere close to my woman again, I will skin you alive. It's a promise. No, I swear I love you, can you say? If you can leave me like this, if I leave you to always shine. If I love you, can't you see how much I love you? Eve? If I do this to me, Eve! I love you.
I'm a thief, beautiful thief, petty petty thief. I'm a warrior, beautiful thief.